back. Oh, we are back. <laughs> and if you know who this is, going back to Stockade. <laughs> Another strap match. I'm looking for Ric Flair. <laughs> Little overtime action from tonight's show. We got to kick it off with our honorary mascot, the American Dream, Dusty Rose, Mr. Polka Dot himself. <laughs> baby Dah, say you, baby. Thanks for tuning in earlier. I'm back again. Joe, Eric, Todd, all in the house. Throwing this one out. We couldn't get Macho Man because he's locked down on the Lee Russell channel. But we got Dusty Rhodes over here. So we're going to mess around, get in some things, talk some beer, have some fun. Hey, this is my birthday eve, so I'm off tomorrow. So I don't even know what's happening. Like, you guys may have to go to work. I don't know. I might pull an all night. I might pull a drunken one nine hours into the week. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see it. Like, in the morning, you will still be on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just feeling energized and charged right now. So we'll be working the, uh, the comment section. If you want to get in, let us know. We'll evaluate. We'll talk amongst ourselves. And if you make the cut, it's like everybody can't get into the Royal Rumble. You got to be a to get into the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Maybe we, that's, that we don't want you getting beat up. We want to make sure you can actually make the cut. We can hold you your own. own. Get a hold there your is own. a very <laughs> difficult application process, Daddy. Yeah, baby. So loophole. in a layover from the last show, because I actually did a review on this one, I'm going to start off with the 8 Hop L. I didn't know I did a review on it or not. So Ooh. that's one thing on my channel. I do not do revisits. <laughs> so... Yeah, you know, Eric. some people do. There's too many beers. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I mean, there's the only one that does revisit. I just <laughs> not that there's uh, anything wrong with that. No. Why do I need to I visit don't you? Do again? it because it's stupid, but there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. So <laughs> I did Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I say you've already had your shot. I've already checked you out. I don't need to come back and check you out again. Um, so yeah, that's tough. Stuff. Eight. I did. Although one time I did put a double review. I think up there because I forgot I reviewed one thing. That's the only time. Then called a revisit. It was just a review again. So. Anyway, that's what I'm drinking right now. What are you guys drinking? I am drinking a Founders Breakfast Stout. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's a good one. <laughs> mother, you mother, you <laughs> son of a... <laughs> that's a Just good call, my friend. You going down. That's a good call. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good I enjoy that one. It's good stuff. I see your breakfast stout, and I'll raise you a hot <laughs> You mother effer. All these good beers. Oh, what? what? <laughs> you never. Oh, wait. Hang on. Now, nah, 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 hold on, baby. We're talking about some hop juju, baby. Uh, here we go. Trillion, treehouse, other half. No, what no, you hang got? on. What nah, got? Nah, wait, Eric, you never had hop juju? No, I have never had it. All right. You, one really? of you fuckers, need to send hop juju to this man. <laughs> Do not deprive him any longer. You deprive. You listen, you deprive the man from hop juju. That's on you. This man. I didn't know you had that. Uh, I never had hop juju. Yeah, you need to hook him. I am, I am shocked. No, I am surprised. It is a the, uh, Who brews it, Joe? Or Todd? Fatheads in Ohio. Uh, where are they at? Uh, yeah, they're north of me. Uh, north Olmstead, baby. Yeah. North Olmstead. Middle, yeah, Middleburg Heights. And and North Olmstead, baby. This is multiple locations. Yeah. All locations. Becky doesn't even get three Floyds up there. He's closer to three Floyds than I am, probably. Un unbelievable. <laughs> Crazy. Damn distro. Damn distro. Check your check your Facebook, Red. Yeah, uh, I am drinking some Canadian goodness because I'm totally not Canadian, but totally kind of am. I'm drinking, and this is this is cool. You know how all the beers are in 16 ounce pounders now. This is just this is a brewery only 12 ounce can. Watch out. It is from Rain Hard Brewing Company Revolution Series Double Dry Hop Double IPA. Citro and Simcoe with lactose, and it is quite tasty. And then because they got a double fist, because there's, you know, all double fisting, all types. Cat Lady from Bellwoods Brewery. It's a double dry hopped uh, IPA. I had their regular version years ago. Uh, it's a fantastic label, though. Like, somebody out there is a cat lady. You totally want this label. Oh, don't, don't even say it. Don't say it. <laughs> or if you're, or if, you're, if you're a crazy cat dude, either way, you want this label. I want the label. I'm keeping the label. What if you just uh, got but, cat scratch fever? Oh, settle down, Ted Nugent. Get out of here. 
but uh, I haven't gotten into the, the cat lady, but the, the, this Reinhardt's pretty good. Uh, it is baby, juicy, it's hazy, baby, it's all that good stuff. <laughs> Hello, Angel of Mercy. Welcome tonight. Angel of Mercy. Holy yeah. shit, there's a lot of comments. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Danny from Basement Beer, what's happening, my brother? Oh, baby, he said Bond Cat Taku for the win, baby. That's right. The Bond Cat Taku, baby. Understand something. I don't know what's happening. Uh, <laughs> Jason asked, why did the last video show up as being posted one week ago? It's because initially the show was supposed to run last week, and then we ran into different things, all of us actually. So I moved it out to this week. And so that's why when you put it into YouTube, it stays in the original week. Ah. And the Red Beer said live streams are weird like that. Yeah, they are. In, in general, YouTube and Google is just weird like that. <laughs> there was one rad I got from you. It took a week until I got the uh it took a week till I got the notification here on my phone. I'm like, I already seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I already watched that video. Why are you telling me you're recommending it now? <laughs> it was so good. They wanted to make sure you didn't miss out. Freaking so. Google. Oh, so I found a new app. It's funny because they got the whole YouTube monetization thing or whatever. So I was contacted by this company called uh, Top Buzz. And essentially it scans YouTube for videos and stuff. And I got an email saying, hey, this video, we liked your video. You should join our service. And then we monetize out of the thing or whatever, depending on how many views you get and stuff. So I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. So essentially, if I can pull up my computer here, I'll share my screen. Essentially, what they end up doing is taking all this. It's all YouTube different videos. And people just see different videos that stream. And all your videos just go into it. And if people like it or whatever, and they start pretty much uh, – paying you if people like it. So Eric, I can shoot the link to you if you're gonna put your stuff on there. Right. But it's a neat little thing. If some company came up and say, hey if YouTube's gonna screw people, then we'll put something together to try to get people to use our service. So yeah. have you used the service rat? Yeah, actually I have. I mean it's like how it starts out with YouTube when you first start doing it's like pennies a day or whatever, but they gave me like a dollar to start out or whatever, and then it kind of builds up and it's starting to pick a little I'm starting to get likes that are starting to pop up now in the first week or so. Oh, that's cool. And all you do is upload your video to YouTube and set it up and it synchronizes your video right to their server. Oh, okay. So you don't have to do too much with it there. Let me see if it pulls up yeah. here. I did a uh, post a question in the chat over here, Rod, when you have time. No big deal. No, okay. no rush, baby. No hurry, baby. Get all the monetization, baby, at all times. <laughs> all times. All times, baby. Oh, not at all. Yeah, if they're there, do it, brother. Do it up. Okay, baby. It's been done before. <laughs> it's done again. <laughs> no words are cracking on the knee. Put it on the shrimp on the barbie. Let's see here. I'm trying to pull Jason it up. Jason here says, there, do we have any plans for St. Paddy's Day? Blackout drunk, baby. Outside of drinking? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. I do not. I. Um, that we have one of, we have a couple of our Irish bars Sorry. here that are going to be doing some stuff. I haven't decided if I'm going to make it down there. They got a parade next weekend, I think, or it might be this weekend actually, because St. Patty's Day is what the seventeenth or something. Uh yep. yeah, it's next. I want to say next Saturday. Yeah, I'm and we do not. have a stout fest during that time. So mm -hmm. what the local Irish bars they bring out the tents and everything, and it's just like all the best type stouts they put together, which is pretty cool. I don't know. I'll see if there's anything going on locally, but usually St. Patty's Day, it's quite busy. You usually got to pick and choose. So, so I don't know. I'll just stay in and uh, drink a lot of beer. Here's the uh, site, right? So essentially, this top buzz, you sink into it and just basically run videos all down through it. And people pretty much just get on and click on videos they want to see or check out further. But I'm like, hey, if it gets more exposure, why not throw videos up on there? And then it sends you alerts when your videos are liked and when people have picked up on stuff. And it's kind of a little interesting new thing that just started taking place from what I can gather. So Yeah, I actually downloaded that app a couple months ago. Did you? Okay. Did yeah. you like it, Todd? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's 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 uh honestly I don't even look at that often, but it is, it is kind of neat because do, you do see some uh, crazy-ass shit on there sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You see some 
crazy ass shit. <laughs> I gotta sign me up. Where do I sign up again? Quote <laughs> in quotes. If I could find this one video, I'll show it to you here. This is the funniest thing that I actually saw on there. If it has my likes on here. So can you uh, oh you can can you follow people on here? No, I think you just click on the videos that you actually like. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway. Well, like that's that does have a gaming category on there, so you can put up some of your gaming stuff on there. Yeah, you can do games. You can actually win cash, it says, by some of the games and stuff. Uh, I was like, I don't have it on here. Anyway, it's an interesting type of... Um, app and everything so if you want eric i can send you a thing because you still like a referral thing to get people in yeah so. i've got i've got the website up right now i'm taking a look okay. at it oh fuck party's ruined i mean uh oh look who's back good evening oh. <laughs> watch your backside now what you drinking in red beard i'm trying the american porter by the new ontario brewing company out of my hometown here in north bay ontario a nice little glass there. I like that. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, this is my uh, Muskoka. Muskoka brewery glass. The beer is probably the, better than the beer that comes from Muskoka. Am I right, Red Beard? <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, actually did the uh, review tonight of um, the their Muskoka brewery's uh, salty salty caramel truffle beer. I've heard good and bad things about that. What do you think? It's not it's not bad. I found it to be almost exactly the same as the Winter Ale by Granville Island out of BC uh, that I've had. I, f- I feel people nothing. are a little let down from the name to what it actually tasted like. Like it wasn't. It wasn't amazing, but it, it was. It had a pretty good overall flavor. I gave it an eight point five, I think, or something like that. It was pretty good. Yeah, you know, like it's interesting. Like you go to places and you get certain beers, they try to cap you on sizes and everything. I guess. Yeah, I try to fight those people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of our places here, um, it's called Buffalo Bob's. Great place. It's, yeah, you know, I would be. it's a little bar type place, but they got, it's craft beer. It's like right here in the middle of Independence. Like it's a great craft beer bar. And you'll get like a 32 ounce like IPA, like Truth or something like that. Everything was Todd has had before. And it's like $9. And I'm thinking there's some place around here you get like a pint and it's like almost $9. Mm-hmm. Are you give me a 32 yeah. ounce. Yeah, I'm happy. Rod, I will say this. Why didn't we go there? <laughs> well, we kind of were done after beer fest and getting home. <laughs> I, I'm just going to say yeah, this, Rod. Good point. Good point. A place called Buffalo Bob's, I feel like 32 ounces is probably the lowest offering they have on their men- menu. Like, it should be like 64. It'd be like you drink a growler at the table. Like, that's <laughs> Buffalo Bob's. That, when I think of that name, you're just like, you're eating like 72 ounce steaks with 64 ounce growlers of craft beer. <laughs> well, then they, then they do bourbon flights and stuff there too, which is awesome. So, what? Mm-hmm. yeah. That would be cool. To- you would never go to places out there. It's like right off the highway. It's like a little, like, you know, Todd's been out where I live. It's like a little rural type. Yeah, you, you pass it. Like, well, I passed it on the way going to your house. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I understand that. Fucking Buffalo Bobs. Here we are. <laughs> we're, we're, we're hitting Buffalo Bobs next time I'm in town, right? We got to go there. Yeah, I don't guys, care. Passing through. And we go, Buffalo Bobs. Yeah, that sounds like they have 32 <laughs> ounces of craft beer. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Nice. And Joe, Joe, the best part is you probably get the Rod J price and you get a dollar ninety nine for sixty-four. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I mean, Whatever you want. Oh, I haven't got that angle yet, although when I go in there now, one of the head managers, she always Me. tells the guy, That's the beer guy, that's the beer guy, go talk to him type thing. So I'm kind of working there. my way up the level. Introduce you get the old school five cent wings and nine nine cent growler pour. Yeah, I say this yeah. as a man who loves wings, but also an incredibly heavy man that is fat and loves wings. Um, if there's five cents wings anywhere, I'm on board because I'm pretty sure like the deal is like seventy five cent wings. It's like what? It's like normal yeah. price. Where you can't even like find fifty cents anymore. Ram, 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 I remember, like back in the day, you used to go to Hooters and be like triple nickel night. Yeah, fifteen cent oh, wings. Yeah. So random, random oh, segue oh, from the, uh, the wing thing. Anybody here watch Hot Ones? Yeah. YouTube show. Yes. 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 Did you watch the most recent one with Charlie's Throne on it? No, yeah, I just watched I it today. Oh, how was it? Oh, it was, it was great. Like she, she, she is 
gorgeous. She's awesome. Oh no, she is. And, yeah, and she and she was like she dropped more f bombs than I've ever seen on that show. It was fucking. Oh awesome. yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah, no, yeah, she, she was. Yeah, it was awesome. Remember the monster sh- movie she played? Yeah, in, like, she did monsters. monsters. Like, why would oh. you? What, what are you? Yeah. Why are you messing her up like this? Yeah. There's enough ugly women in Hollywood. You can have yeah. them play the role. They, they actually <laughs> talked about that movie on the show. <laughs> Broad speaks the truth. There's totally like, gonna. Why, be, why beat up Charlie? I mean, yeah, she's a good actress, but yeah, don't put her in that. Yeah, no, she, uh, <laughs> Atomic Blonde that uh, that one that came out recently that was actually really good too, where she plays like the badass Jason Bourne kind of character. Yeah. That was yeah, that was a really good flick. I see the she does well. Hey Redbeard, have you had anything from Reinhardt in Toronto? I have not. I don't actually but I want to say maybe I've had something. Let me just do a quick search. You gotta try it. Like I've had a couple things, but dude, this is this is tasty. So Jamie said he's having an Aber Buggy Whip IPA dry hop with mosaic. Uh so two questions to Jamie. Um, how is that beer? And number two is, do you know our buddy? So uh, and there's a friend of uh, the Albino Rhino channel. He used to uh, be a cast member on Chad's channel like three, four years ago. His name is Devin. Um, he actually works at Aberb now. As a Ooh, seller I had there, their so. Kapow West Coast IPA. Yeah. And I believe I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was all right. I've, ha- I've had that too. It's, it's pretty solid for West Coast IPA. Um, but hey, I just... What's up, yo? Do, do you get distro a lot of the can, Canadian stuff, or do you just have friends that you get it from? Like, uh, I, get, I get friends. Sometimes I go up there and grab stuff, and uh, some stuff we get collective art. So, Rod, Rod, I'm gonna say, Rod, 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 hang on, Shh, hang on. I'm gonna, say, <laughs> I'm gonna say it, Rod, Rod. You okay? Okay, okay. Here we go. No, 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 no. Do not say that. <laughs> no, hang on, Rod. No, no hang on. Here no. is banned on my channel. Okay, so hang on. I'm gonna break the rules. Apparently. Um, <laughs> Collective Arts Brewing, they have a beer called IPA number <laughs> five. Um, it's a really Check good goes beer. Check offline. Yeah. It's a really Shut good beer. Down. Where did you go? I told you. I told you not to say it, Joe. Um, Joe never gets ejected. We haven't but, seen uh, Joe for months. <laughs> But that's collective arts. We get Nickelbrook. Nickelbrook does some good stuff. We get in New York State. Uh, collective arts. Some Mill Street. Some, no, no, yeah, no, there was yeah. something I asked you about Nickelbrook before that is down here somewhere. Kentucky yeah. Bastard. Get on it. Get on it now. It's good. Kentucky Bastard. A- any of the. Well, actually, uh, in my, for me, like if you like wine, then you yeah, like Yeah, Winey Bastard. The, yeah, there's a Winey Cafe, Bastard. Cafe Del Bastardo. Uh, like anything that has Bastard in the name or some variant of Bastard, you just buy it because it's yeah. really good. It was got a bad uh, cuvee actually. Marcel came over uh, last week mm-hmm. and we tried vlogging the cuvee. And halfway through, my SD card and my GoPro was like, I'm going to have a random error right now and erase everything. So uh, we had to we'll have to redo it. But it was, it's actually, it's a lot different than the last one I had. This this time they made it kind of a funky tart flavor. It's actually pretty tasty. Yeah. I had a, I had it this year and the last time I had it was like 14 and it was quite a bit different. I didn't get much of the, the barrel characteristic in this year's version that I did in prior years. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I liked it though. So There's so many fucking ingredients. It's like 73 different things. I'm like, yeah, I, I taste like two, maybe four of them. That, that was pretty funny when I was reading those off. It's like, holy crap, there's a bunch of shit in here. Cardamom, a variation of cardamom. It's like, what? <laughs> what a variation of cardamom. It's like, what? It's happening. Um, Ty, Tyler Mankel says, uh, Joe, I would watch if you had a channel. Well, that makes one of you, Tyler. <laughs> one of you. <laughs> I would unsubscribe from him now. Yeah, dude, preemptively yeah. on sub if you want. Right, you on his list now. <laughs> you know, that brings you total to absolutely zero. Yeah. yeah. I have 57 people subbed to my channel in for I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's on you all of them. might be one of those. It might not be. I would be one of those too, Joe. <laughs> well, I don't know if I am, come to think of it. No, don't. I mean, <laughs> do it. Do it, Red There's no content here. What the hell? I mean, Redbeard, I'm also not subbed to your channel, so we're even. It's okay. <laughs> I love you, I'm man. All, I love you. I, I have all my subs blocked, so like, if you won't know if I'm subbed to you, but I am, I'm subbed to everybody in this chat except for Todd because he doesn't have a channel, and I don't feel like subbing to his non-existent channel. But I should because <laughs> then maybe you'll have a channel, and I'll be the first to get the content. Oh, Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> Todd's going to start a channel when I do, so somewhere. Jason asked if I've had the infamous pappies i have not had the pappies i need to actually go over to newport because they have the bourbon bar there and that would be there oh so pat i can put that on my list for this year to drink some pappies yeah 
Some Van Winkle? Yeah. Yeah? Like Good Vanilla stuff. Ice? <laughs> no, no. See, that's oh. like a Nick joke. You lost it on that one. That Damn. Was, yeah, that, Damn it. Why Peter? <laughs> Peter? Let Nick come in and make his own jokes. Don't try to help him out. Listen, the cool <laughs> trick is, is, is writing my joke, so that's on Peter. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Vanilla Ice is cool, yo. Vanilla he's like, cool. he's overworked. He's getting a lot of people right. He's writing stuff. Well, I, th I think Dr Drunken One just popped in and subbed to you, Joe, I think. <laughs> well, that's on him again. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's eating screaming Sicilian pizza. Oh, uh, that's the frozen one, right? I always mm. see that. Jason Four, he's it, my pizza, never screams. And Eric says, sometimes my screams out of my bubble. Karen, <laughs> what are you doing? I've always been trying to make you for Paul not has. being here. Oh, Paul's in PJ. Have you guys have you guys seen the Manchester piss up the channel? If not, they've been putting a they've been putting a oh. lot of fucking yeah, shit on the channel, man. It's, it's actually it's a it's pretty I've watched so that... every single video so far. It's fucking fantastic. It really is. So here's the link to the Manchester Piss Up, which... Um, yeah, I need to actually here's... subscribe to that. There's him. So it's content with him and Peter, uh, probably like a half dozen, maybe eight videos. Then there's some with him, Ginge, Real Al, Trail Stewart, and uh, Rob from Hopzine. There's like three or four videos with them on there. And uh, apparently, I think tomorrow, Craig, Kent Beer Reviews, or Kent from Craig yeah, Beer Reviews, who uh, uh, we talked to. Yeah, he's going to be there, and I think Peter's going to come back and meet up with them. And I, I want to say Harry from Blue Nose, but I don't know if Harry's – I know Dean's not able to make it, or Jake from Jake O'Beers. Well, they have a video. Libertines hits up the Dean's game. I thought they made what about, it. What about Simon from Real Ale Craft? Yeah, he's a little bit too big for them. Also, they don't want to hang out with him. So either way, look at it. No. Did you I see that? Video. He put out recently about the whole the brew dog pink IPA thing, and he yeah. put out the – yeah, that was Honestly. ridiculous. He, I, didn't watch, I didn't watch it. Was it how was it? Was it crazy on this video? I watched <laughs> about half of it, and it got to the point where like he was just like repeating himself over and over, basically like reiterating the same things again, and again, and again. And it was like so he's like drunk. Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> he, he has a tendency to use a lot of uh, well, maybe recently a lot of clickbait. Yeah. Which uh, I guess gets you views nowadays. I guess I mean that's where it's at. The clickbait. Jason, I can't listen to that many British accents at once. Or like a well, you, monster, honestly, every, everybody, all the British people that I know of that like I've talked to, the uh, UK people, that, that the crooked teeth thing is more of a myth these days. I think, I think it uh, used to be a thing. Kind of, that's like a whole yeah. thing. Like Harry's a cool cat. Harry's yo, a cool cat. Yo, kind of. But if you uh, if you watch one of these videos, it's um, it's Rob. It's Stuart. It's Paul. And Paul's drinking, I want to say it's a Samuel Smith's ESB on cask. Well, and this Stuart, Stuart alone is that he's he's got the thickest accent of anybody. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm like, understanding him more and more though. Like as I watch the oh, video, yeah. it's just coming to me. I'm like, yeah, I get yeah. yes, they we're 37 percent no longer. Flip those numbers. <laughs> I understand you 73 percent of the time. But uh there was this <laughs> older lady that started talking to Paul. And yeah, her she 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 it was awesome. It was one of the best videos because she's like just in there talking. There's some random woman in there. She's singing songs and stuff. It's like a classic English pub, and it's just like fantastic. Watch it's like a six minute video, and it's so good. I highly recommend. It's like one of the nice. last three or four videos they upload. But it's I gotta, I gotta, I gotta catch up. I haven't, I haven't watched a few of them still, but I, I I'm gonna watch them all. I just imagine Paul be like Euro Trip over there. Oh, oh random, sure. random, if anybody wants to watch Euro the video trip. <laughs> today, <laughs> I, I did it. I beat Far Cry Four on my live stream. Woo. Any any rage quits, Redbeard? Any rage no, quits? No, 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 not today. I, I I never rage quit the game. I, I always keep going until mm -hmm. I complete what I want to do, and then I quit. So it's like rage that eventually leads to quitting, but I don't like rage quit. You know, like I yeah. I, 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 I I let the rage it's just, just rage. Rage. keep going. I let it yeah, flow. No, I let the rage flow. It's a delayed rage quit. It's like I'm gonna quit out of yeah. rage, but just wait. Let me beat this first, then I'll do it. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So Jamie says Charlize and Monster, but scrunchy face Maggie Gyllenhaal as Rachel Dolls in Batman: Dark Knight, casting weirdness. I never found Maggie Gyllenhaal to be all attractive, though. No, and you know what? I would watch. I watched the uh, the Deuce with um, James Franco and her. And which she, one? Who yeah. is she? She she the one that replaced uh, Katie Holmes as what's her face? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I don't like when they do that with movies. Where I don't like, think she's a different character than Katie Holmes' character. Yeah, okay. yeah, but I think like as the main woman of the of the of the movie. Yeah. No, no, but, no, but I mean, it was the exact same girl. Was it? As, yeah. Was it the same yeah, one? Just, I thought we were two different. 
Hundred percent the uh, same girl. I'm gonna need you to refer like to them uh, as women and not girls. Sorry, settle down. Ladies, women, sorry. Not watching the Paint IPA video. Yeah, <laughs> it's like in Silence of the Lambs and then uh, Hannibal, where uh, Jodie Foster became Julianne Moore. Mm. I hate stuff like that. It just yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I get Moore that. Boogie Nights. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, May, maybe Jillian Hall. Like she's in some, she seems attractive. Like there's some movies she's very attractive, and other movies where I'm like, nah, I'm good. I feel yeah. like Deuce, they kind of they make overdid, her look overdid it with Maggie Jillian Hall. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like okay, we I know like it's supposed to be too. like this prostitute porn type industry thing yeah. or whatever, but you really got to have her take her chest out all that many times and be. I mean, yeah. it's kind of like they're just sagging. It's just you know. Yeah, it's uh, I I really like the Deuce though. I'm glad there. I mean, I know he, Jay Franco has the fucking whole crazy and whatever's going on with him, but they're actually gonna redo it and or uh, do season two. And I'm, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. it. It starts red. That starts real slow, but it picks up very nicely about halfway through. So I'm glad I didn't give up on the first couple. I was like, oh boy. Yeah, it picked up as it. Yeah, was. I heard I heard that. Is it worth watching? Yeah, all the way yeah. Through? Just don't, just just don't get. I just thought they over pushed Maggie going on. Yeah, they they did. Don't get. If you watch one or two episodes and you're like, wow, this is kind of slow starting, it totally is. But it picks up about halfway through like the fourth episode and it really carries to the end. But like the first couple are just like, I could see people turn it off and be like, I'm not returning to it because it's super slow to start. And uh, it's, it, I think there was 10 episodes, I believe. So by the time it picks up, you're already at the halfway point. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, sorry to me, Jamie. Jamie's like, I never found Maggie on all, all that attractive. That was a joke, Rod. Oh, uh, I need Nick to write my material, apparently. <laughs> no, Jamie, Jamie, there's alcohol involved, and also uh, sometimes comments don't translate all that well. <laughs> Plus, you're yeah. Canadian, so there's that. Sorry, Red. I gotta, um, think, I gotta think the child is down sleeping, otherwise, Jamie be here. So, yeah, J J Jamie, seriously, out of all the friends I have on, on Beer Tube, uh, Jamie has some of the best jokes. But the fact that he always has to type them out because he very rarely is able yeah. to get in here because of his kids, very disappointing. Because I would, he has great timing. Get but some soundproofing panels or something, or like move your place where your computer is further away from where your kids are. Like, do something to get in here more often, damn it. <laughs> We'll kick Rod Beard out for you. No big deal, right? right <laughs> many, we can't have too many Canadians, let's be honest. That's, Get some ear uh, for the kid. I'm like half Canadian, so I kind of count, but we can't have like three Canadians in here. Speak, speaking of another, have you had anything, anything from Bellwoods, Red Beard? Any, any Bellwood stuff? I had their uh, milk, some, no, some, some kind milk of shark. Shark. Milk some shark. IPA, some IPA, yeah, Milk Shark IPA. I had it at a bar here in town. It was actually really, really good. Marcel was over recently, and we're planning to do a trip down to Toronto in the summertime. Oh, yeah. And we're just kind of looking at some of the brew pubs and stuff, and there's a place down there. I want to say it's some Motley Crew Bellwoods beer or something like that. That's their sour. They That's want their... $36 a bottle or some. Yeah. We're in that yeah. price range for the beer. I, at, the, at this brew pub thing. It's ridiculous. Yeah, no, you mentioned that the one time. They they um, they um actually – it's funny. Uh, Chad, the Albino Rhino, he has his beer fest every year in May. First year was in April, but I think that every subsequent year was in May. And I think twice he has actually had the fest on the same day as the Motley Crew release at Bellwoods. So people would have to pick, like, do I go to Toronto or do I go to Niagara Falls? <laughs> A lot of people like Bellwoods Motley Crew. It's 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 their anniversary beer that's always soured in some way. Uh, I think last year they had a bunch of passion fruit along with it. I have a bottle of it. Um, I haven't drank it because they, they, they make they make a few good beers. Do they not? Oh, like, they they're, make a lot of good brewery ever. Yeah, they're my exactly. favorite Canadian brewery, no doubt. Um, oh, really? I hate yeah, nope. yeah, they're, they're they're awesome. I missed Tyler's question. He asked if we had the Exalted IPA by Stone Brewing. Mm -hmm, I, I have not had that one. You know, Stone is kind of like a second thought for me a lot of times, unless it's. Something that really got my attention at one point, like the Stone Mocha IPA. Like I always buy that when I come out, but oh, I, I don't really hunt Stone as much anymore. I don't want to be that guy, but I'm going to be just for the sake. Um, again, we talked about it on the show earlier, the Beer Flow Show. The just locally, regionally, those are kind of the breweries I lean towards nowadays. It has to be something that piques my interest if it's from one of the larger, well-known craft breweries. It has to be something that's like, oh, I have to try that because it has an ingredient or it has it's a style I like. Stone seems to make all these IPAs, and I'll just be honest with you. So many of these IPAs I've had from Stone over the last couple of years, they fall short of what I'm hoping they are. So it makes me not want – every time they release a new IPA, I'm like – 
it sounds good in theory, but it's going to underwhelm me. And more often than not, that I'm right for again my own palate and how I uh, how I enjoy certain beers. It's like Stones kind of like that for me now. I still like a lot Maybe. of their standbys, but it, it, they fall short with a lot of their new releases for me. I yeah. like yeah. I keep trying. Yeah, try, you never know because like if you start if you start just like bypassing them, they might eventually release some amazing IPA huh. that you miss out on. You know, you gotta try. That's how I am anyway. I I, I gotta try one of everything kind of thing. Well, I, I, they're enjoyed by series is pretty good, I think. That's just they're me. enjoyed by they're enjoyed by is good, but I had one that was not as great. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't as great for me to have to go out and hunt them down. I think it it wasn't tangerine. It was another one they had. It was like mm, it's okay, but it's not like a standout type thing. Yeah. Did you but, try to enjoy it after instead of enjoy it by? We're rebels. I've done it before. I've done it. Before. <laughs> the beer. The beer exploded for some reason. I wasn't quite sure what happened. It's a mission <laughs> impossible. It this will explode. <laughs> it, the glass grew legs and drain poured itself. I was confused. Yeah. No. It, it, it didn't have an enjoy after series also. Yeah. That was with Brett, right? Oh, they yeah, put Britannomyces cool. in yeah. it because it was like yeah. it, it, they gave it a year, I believe. That was cool. Yeah. I, bought, I had one and you had to let it sit for, yeah, exactly. It was one year. Yeah. How was it? Was it what did you did you buy one and uh drink it fresh and then and then have it or just buy, buy the one and then drink it after the date it said? No, I just bought the one and just sat on it until afterwards. Well, I kinda wish bottle. I would have done it though. I kinda wish I would have done it though, but I wasn't gonna pay that for both no. bottles. They were in the seven fifty or like the five hundred mils with the cork and cage, right? So it was like, oh, we're gonna charge fucking fifteen dollars for it because it's gotta be in a special right. bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here's the funny thing. Like I could almost put Rogue in that same type of thing with Stone. But yeah. actually Rogue I will pick up a little bit more because Rogue has just enough weird things that happen on some of their beers. You're like, that kind of sounds interesting enough. Like I picked up one of their uh spicy pepper beers recently that's in the cellar right now. And I picked up <laughs> a freshly roasted coffee one on it. And it, it's enough with it, it kind of says, Okay, that I would give a shot to to try just to see. I always pick up the way Do you, do you find yourself. that most of their stuff falls short? Do what? Do you find that most of their stuff falls short though? What do you mean short? Like not not what you would hope that it would yeah, be. Oh, short, short of your expectations, um, yeah. I guess. Right. Sometimes they do fall short. Um like I wasn't gonna pet like, I, I caught a deal like on the um oh, did you? Stout, right? Like, I wouldn't yeah, pay really? for <laughs> no way. I wouldn't pay for it. <laughs> Don't know what he's talking about. I deal was paying full price on what they're charging for the Sriracha Stout, so I caught a deal on it, so I tried it, and I'm like, I'm glad I didn't pay full price on this because it's not that great for twelve ninety nine a bottle. But at the lower price, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, that's the thing with Rogue. Like again, I mentioned this, I think, in a, in a previous beer flow show for me. Um, they get put on the West Coast shelves typically in my area, so like they're next to the California beers and other Oregon beers and whatnot, and it's like. I see them and like I turn my head to like the shelf right next to it. It's Lagunitas. I'm like, what? It's five dollars for a bomber. Why are you twelve? Yeah. Like I'm not buying right. you. Like, and then I look on the bottom. I see free free range coastal water, and I just you know throw the beer against the wall, and I have to pay for it anyway. So regardless, I don't know what free range coastal water is, but I don't want them to use it ever again. But they do all the time, so whatever. Get some of that new uh, raw water they're selling. Yum. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus, yeah, raw. Water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thing. Are you down to have all sorts of weird shit in your water? Oh yeah, yeah. Drink it. fantastic. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's a brewery that can touch Lagunitas on the value you get for. No, 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 they're, they're they absolutely the best. When they bring out that Willitized Stout this year, and I still couldn't find it around here. Which dude, sucks. they're selling six packs between thirteen to fifteen dollars. I'm like, what? Look, wait, like two fifty a bottle? This is a two, like a 10, 11, 12 percent Imperial Stout Asian. Uh, Willette barrels. I'm like, are you? How is it two fifty a bottle? And why yeah. is everyone else charged like six times yeah. as much? Yeah, oh, that's because everyone else rips us off. That's cool. And see, Lagunitas. Yeah. Like last week, I picked up a six pack of their undercover because I like their undercover. Like there are certain beers they have that come out. I will pick it up and get the beer. Not a lot of their stuff makes it here. Some of it does, but no. Also, yeah, no, no. The, you guys have gotten a couple things, but Redbeard, go back something you said like 15 minutes ago. You're like, uh, I'm one of those guys. You you said this. You're like I'm one of these guys that like picks up. I want to try everything. You basically said yes, I want to try. Yes, yes. That's in Canada. And again, I'm not saying this to in a derogatory sense, but you guys have the LCBO mostly, and you have the beer store, and then local breweries. We and I say this, and I'll include all the guys here because we're all in places where 
you go to your local beer store, there's like a thousand different beers. And yeah, every single you. week, every single week, a, a, like a case of like a, literally you could walk into my local beer store every week and pick up a case of brand new beers. It's like impossible. Could, you like mix and mix and match. A I could four mix and match a two, four of new stuff. Just, yeah, I know. Now hang on. Right I, I, I deserve that. <laughs> I'll deserve that because we're in America. But, uh, oh, lucky bastard. But that's the <laughs> prices you're talking about too, man. Like, but then, you then, guys, then, you then, bastards. Again, the, it would probably cost couple hundred dollars to do that because you're not talking about two three dollar bottles you're talking on average somewhere between five to seven dollars because there's bombers there's there's 750s there's 500 milliliter it's oh, for sure. never ending and again i'm not complaining in the least it's fantastic but that's why i pick and choose nowadays because yeah stone's newest release shows up and i'm like that sounds interesting but wait there's a place just just breweries out of new york six yeah. new brews showed up I'd rather try these because they sound a lot more interesting and they're local and they have a better track record than. Well, Stone yeah, I get like you're, you're able to, you know, go in and like make that choice where I go in and it's like, it's my mm -hmm. own fault for locking myself into this stupid daily goddamn beer of you think I'm doing, but yeah, I'm, not, I'm trying to always get new stuff and it's, it's getting ridiculously difficult at this point. Where well, if, like, if you did, did that in the States, you could easily do it. Right, Rob? Yeah. I think like, I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my damnedest to get to a thousand, and then I might actually bite the bullet and be like, it's gonna become like a weekly thing or something like that. And yeah, because unless like breweries put me on their like press list or something, where like every new release are gonna send to me or some shit like that, which has not happened at all. Um, that's the only way that I'd be able to really sustain this. Well, it's like me when I go into a store. I go in, you know, I usually get one or two beers or whatever. One or two. Oh, okay, there's something there. There's something there. There's, fuck, let me go back and get a cart. So, because <laughs> there's so many beers that are lined up. It's like, yeah. you know, coming out, what more do you want to go in there? It's like. You're talking about your seller there before. Like, yeah, kudos just, yeah, to yeah, that the seller, the seller upload that I did. Where some, some of the, and then there's just like, and there's on my Facebook page, like, you know, Joe sees it. And I don't know if you're on there carrying up, but like Eric and. Todd will see it. It's like every freaking week, okay. it's like a new beer release from one of these breweries here. Yeah, it's just like seriously, guys. Yeah, that's right. That hell, it happens to me every Thursday when I go in. I went in there today to get two new Belgium beers, there and I go. walk out with a hop juju fatheads and a four pack of uh, Ballast Point yeah. <laughs> early age. You know, I'm like, I just want to spend like five bucks. And I kind of walk yep. in there with you know, spending twenty five dollars every single. <laughs> what what, uh, what what is what is your cellar, Rod? Is it like just a a room full of beers and actually like nicely organized or like? Yeah, I mean, I've got them in boxes. Hey, if you ever want to check out the cellar video, it's right online. It shows all the cellar. And Todd actually got to see it when he came here. But I keep them in boxes out in the cool part of the basement, and nice. pretty much. Um, I go in there and I track them on the app that I have that I shared on the uh, Beer Coalition page because you've got so much beers in there. It's hard to keep track of them. It's like, and I know Joe keeps a spreadsheet on his stuff, but what? it's like, how dare you, you spread these lies? You have to rotate the stuff so you actually get to the right beers and you get them out under your certain you, pattern. They, you otherwise, you're going in there like, oh shit, this is an IPA I was supposed to drink five months ago. So. I have a uh, Excel spreadsheet where I have each box listed, so I know and I number the boxes on the box with uh, a marker, so I can be like, okay, box ten. Well, and I guess I look I at my Excel spreadsheet; it tells me exactly what's in box ten, so I don't have to worry about it. That's awesome. Um, I didn't think about yeah. this, but uh, I guess you can't. Like, you couldn't. Well, I guess you could, but it not, you're not supposed to. Um, beer is just supposed to store upright, not like a wine bottle where you put it on. Yeah, you wouldn't correct. 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 Yeah, upright. yeah. So yeah. you couldn't. Like, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be hard to. Make, and I guess you could you could maybe do some kind of like pull out drawer thing where like you could have them all lined up and you pull out each thing and I bet I bet there are actually some pretty cool custom beer sellers. Now you, can, you can get away with some on the side if they're filtered before they go to the bottom, but ones with like, he, actually filtered in there with sediment, you don't want them sideways. Yeah, and you sure, uh, right add another caveat, and I'll say this again from personal experience. There's if you go on the grand old insured webs and uh, go to Google and just try to learn about how to sell their beer and so there's people that are crazy out there. Okay, like they're like you gotta keep it at uh, 55 degrees Fahrenheit for all day. If it fluctuates by 0.3 degrees, everything's gonna the world's gonna explode. It's like, so not going to happen. Um, I live in a, in a in a raised ranch, which is essentially almost a split level. So, yeah, my basement is, is still a living area, and it's cooler 
but it's probably like 65 all the time down there. Okay. And that's where I keep my beer. And I have had one beer that has turned and it hasn't become the temperature. Keep wherever you sell your beer, just keep the temperature consistent and under 70 degrees and you'll right. be fine. You don't want it to get too high so the yeast starts refermenting or anything goes bad. You don't want it to fluctuate from like 40 to 80 degrees. Just keep it consistent. You'll hear a lot of people that don't have cellars, they'll throw it in the closet. As long as that temperature is consistent and doesn't rise, you know, rise above like 73 to 75, you're good to go. Just keep it consistent. I've had beers that are five years old that have been 65 degree temperatures consistently all the time. And they've been fantastic and they've aged beautifully. So and know, and know your styles. You have to know your style. Yeah, yeah. Make make sure. I mean, a lot of people just be like, well, if it's a big ABV beer, yeah. Well, not. I mean, you can age four or five percent beers if they're sours. Yeah. If they're in barrel age, there's a lot of things you can do. Yeah. Don't ha don't age hop four beers unless you want them to turn in barley wines, which I've done. I've done hop slam. I you know a local uh, brewery to Eric Bell's Hop Slam is a double IPA 10%. And I've actually aged like three or four of them to see how they change over the years. Mm -hmm. Do they turn it completely different? Yeah, there we go. The the winter winter yeah, white. white. Hop Slam turns into this orange marmalade of awesomeness. No longer a double IPA. Still fucking really tasty though. I just wanted to see what happened. Oh man, I still have one from 2014. That's going to be like four years old. I can't wait to dive into it. But uh, yeah, you don't have to get too crazy with aging beer. Just be smart. Make sure the the, the temperature is not fluctuating and make sure to keep them out of light. Like Rod said, I have them all mine in boxes. No light gets through. No light, consistent temperature. You're good to go, really, honestly. Right. Yeah. Evening, Chris. Chris is out there now. How What's going it? on, brother? And Chris, back I from think back back with any your Facebook, Chris. Back from your evening with the albino rhino. They were out. Uh, they went to the Cayman Kettle. I won't believe it till I see it. They, they were drinking the rhino's red beard, uh -huh. the beard that I, I want to have badly now. Why? Well, I thought they have. A, don't they have a can to send to you? I think, I think they have a crowler, I believe, which is awesome. Sure. 32 ounces of awesomeness, yes. Do you homebrew red beer? I don't, but I really, really want to get into it. I actually have a part, I have a space in my apartment that's like reserved and it's going to work out perfectly for what I want to do. I just am waiting to have some money to spend on it, kind of thing. Just do it. I am going to do it. I'm oh, going to do it. Arnold is out. What are you waiting for? Do it now. What are you waiting <laughs> for? Go do the job. I, wanna, I, I really want to say that in a Christopher Walken voice, but I can't get there. Let's say it sounded like it sounded like something else. Like uh, I was trying to do an Arnold, but I've had a few beers. It didn't sound like Arnold, but it sounded just like somebody else that I can't place. Them. I hope you're not talking about me. No, it was what Rob was saying. Do it. No, I can't do it now. now. It's like, no. Nah. <laughs> this is, this is absolutely terrible. Yeah, give it a try anyway. Who cares? Do it now. Get to the chopper. I got to get to the right mindset. Oh. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> hey, speaking I, of home I, I need I need ewers so we can start going into Forrest Gump lines. Again. I, have, I have your clone in the fridge, and it's next in queue, Todd. Next in queue. Yes, I'm gonna do. I still gotta do that one too. I got your the clone of the zombie. I was wondering if either of you guys have tried it yet, and I was just. I'm gonna do it this week. I'm gonna do a, the zombie dust and the clone of the zombie. Oh dust. man, I should have. Yeah, I didn't it's, think it's, it's a little bit dust. sweeter than the zombie dust. It's, it, I mean, it's it's kind of tasty. Are you trying to change right. my opinion already? I just told you I was gonna. Now you done spoil me, damn it! Oh, I'm sorry. Preconceived <laughs> notion, <laughs> <laughs> ruined. No spoilers. <laughs> the zombie <laughs> dust is last on my list, Todd. Oh, zombie dust should be first. That's on your list. What are you doing, Eric? <laughs> I, I, I got to lead up, man. I got to lead up. See, now, now, Eric, now, Eric, for like a month straight, you gave a shit over the American Pal Weed Ale, and then you actually have one. Joke's on you. Joke's on you. I liked it. <laughs> He's like, what, American Pal Weed Ale? It's a style. Totally is. It's <laughs> I was like, oh, really? Here, here's the thing, though, Eric. That gumball head is like the only American pal weed out that like I enjoy. <laughs> like all the best of them are so so boring because it is a boring style. But gumball head is. Yeah. And see, for me, I thought it was good, but it's not great. Or like Tom was giving me shit. I'm like, it's still good. It's just not great for me. Oh, gumball head is not great, but like it, within the style, yeah, totally, way yeah. better than the rest. Uh, <laughs> 
like I, I think I give it like a three seven five or a four out of five somewhere in that range. Like it's it's damn damn tasty, but like the style itself, it's just it is really boring. It's like we're just gonna make a pale ale and put weed in it and just like doll down the flavors. Yeah, and then and then and then three Floyds comes in like hang out. Hey, yeah, baby, we got some Simcoe hop going on over here, or whatever they put in there. It's like, yeah, you totally do, and it's pretty tasty. We got this. We can do it. Simcoe hop. But I've had so many within the star. Just like seriously, why? I don't want to drink this. Hey, Eric, what else did you get from Three Floyds that I sent you? Gumball head, zombie dust, and was there another one? Uh, yeah, there was another one, and I can't remember what it is right now. I'd have to go look in the cellar. That's okay. I was, I was just, I couldn't remember either. So here are the first stories starting to come out now. So obviously, I talked about I talk about, I didn't talk about it in a news item. I don't think I think I may have mentioned it on something about the tariff for that Trump was doing an aluminum. We may talk about it last week at some yeah, point. Yeah, we did talk about it like a little bit last week. Yeah. So now North Carolina craft beer because he actually put it in today, and mm-hmm. North Carolina craft brewing industry is saying they're about to take it from the tariff because of the aluminum. Because it is going to affect beer prices, you may be paying a little bit more for some. How of your much? Beers. So I thought someone said it's going to affect like one cents per can. Yeah, did like you guys, a did you guys see or... the guy on there talking about like the Campbell's soup can and shit on there? Yeah, that guy. Is, <laughs> oh, that guy that was like fucking hilarious. I think yeah. it was on. I was on last week tonight with John Oliver. We was talking about it, like how he's like Mister Magoo. Oh, it was fucking hilarious, <laughs> Mister Magoo. <Yeah. laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, it's going to affect more than that, but I mean. Although they did exempt Canada and Mexico. Yeah, Canada's whatever. Uh, we are pretty Canada. special up here. Yeah, it's Canada. God damn dog. I guess you're pushing away to Mexico and talk some shit. They're like, okay. <laughs> we know the president didn't want to come meet Trump. He canceled his trip. Good. I can't imagine why. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> We're going to make a wall and you're going to pay for it. Excuse me. What now? Like, what are you doing? You're going to pay for it? This isn't. Seem fair. Where's that wall, buddy? They're yeah, saying because of the steel tanks, that so. brewed, the steel tanks they're actually using tariffs will also affect future expansion of local breweries. Uh, another beer within the American yeah, palate. Yeah, out new, you know. So, something to compare yeah. it to. Oh, I just wanted this Eric before I forget because I'm old. Um, you talk about Gumball Head. Another beer within the American Pale Wheat Ale style, Eric Oberon. Mm-hmm. Oberon's a good beer. Oh. Not as good as Gumball Head for me. Fuck Oberon. Todd, you're going to have to give me, me another me, Gumball Oberon's Head better. so I can compare it against Oberon. See, right, for me, was... Oberon's better than Gumball Head. Oh, yeah. shit. We're... I'm gonna have you guys, to, we're going to bring me all these beers you're talking about. Like, this chat. Hour, I, can't, I, I disagree with Rod, so I can't. I not can't beer. Red beer, do you get any, Red beer, do you get any uh, Bell's beers up there? Like Bell's Brewing? No, no. I don't I, think so, no. He lives in an igloo, so no. What does he live in, BFE or something? He, he lives really. really I, I actually enough. live at like a junction of like two major fucking highways. There's all kinds of traffic through here. Like, yeah. there's there's one that goes to civilization and one that doesn't. That's where he, <laughs> that's where he is. <laughs> so, uh, Corona is launching his first new beer in 29 years. That's cool. Don't ever mention Corona in your own chat ever again. It's gonna be, I seen the Corona premiere. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be Corona <laughs> Premium, a new lower gallon. Yeah, yeah, I seen that one today. I saw like, like, heard about you know, like. Sorry, how, much lower can you, how much lower can you get on piss butter? Yeah, so you, guys, you guys heard about like how in Mexico apparently like Corona's like basically they order for people. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. fucking yeah. a bunch of people over so they yeah. can keep making their beer. Classy and they're drinking water too, and that's like Ballast Points parent company. Yeah. My, my buddy Devin said for that comment. My buddy Devin that I went to high school with, so <laughs> not like a, more of an acquaintance than he was. He was like one of my best friends, but moved way away. That's his. I think because of the Fast and Furious too, which makes it even worse. That's his beer of choice, Corona. I thought Fast you and Furious. Don't review it. I thought they said don't count that in the Fast and Furious series. I thought that was a mistake. Yeah. Oh, Wasn't that cool. Tokyo Drift? That's like the only yeah. one I've never seen. Yeah. I, 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 wa- I, I rewatched like that series like last year. I think it was just yeah. because I had I hadn't seen a few of the the last couple and. The one where the fucking car goes from like one skyscraper to another skyscraper and then oh, to another skyscraper in the Middle East, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like there, The Rock there, was in that one. Um, there, there's this, there's a scene in there where the, <laughs> it's like Duke's a Hazard style. The car goes into the, the car lands like goes from one to the other one. When it lands, yeah, the shark. You watch it. You watch it. The car, the wheel like explodes <laughs> off the car, and then the next scene, the car's fine. 
I watch them all because I love muscle cars. I mean, if you don't yeah. love muscle cars, you're like, hey, this shit's ridiculous. But if you like it's muscle cars, you'll probably enjoy it. Sad fucking ass, buddy. Yeah, I mean, the fact that the rock, the rock breaks out of his own cast because he has to go to work is like, dude, your arm is not healed yet. How are you just going to break out of the cast? I mean, <laughs> the way I just I that my bones are fine and they're not. The way I see that series is a, on a scale of one to Fast and the Furious, no one remembers Tokyo Drift. And for good reason, because it's Tokyo yeah. Drift. It's clearly the worst of the entire series. No one remembers anything about it because no one watches it. It's, it's like Rocky Five. Of this like, just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fucking. Like did, it's yeah. it's, te- it's yeah. so bad. Also, in comments, we have a couple good comments here. Um, <laughs> basement beer. Jamie says, "President needs an aluminum baseball bat." <laughs> <laughs> wow! All right, I'll settle time, Jamie. That's right. already flagged by, yeah, by the don't FBI. Waiting, dude. he's got him. He's gonna flag everything. He's still in my house. I'm like, he's Canadian. What am I gonna do? He's Canadian. And, <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that comment is like the bottom of the barrel as far as what's probably been said about him in the last oh, yeah. minute on oh, the yeah. internet. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> But uh, but then also uh, Chris goes whoop Canada hashtag sorry not sorry and then Jamie to to just translate to the Canadians he said uh, pronounced sorry as they like to pronounce it up there anything with that with the hard O sorry 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 what are you guys talking about you know all that good about? stuff what are you guys talking about well see now here's the thing I actually. If you want to talk about anything stereotype wise about Canadians, you know, people, oh, A, I've met a few Canadians that have, like, I actually talked to a guy in line at a grocery store like 10 years ago. He literally, after every sentence, put the word A. Like, it was like, hey, this is a great time, eh? Oh, uh, yeah, man. I, I I went and bought this, eh? And I was just like, holy shit, you are like a stereotypical Canadian. Oh, no. Some, like, some of them do. Yeah, dude. yeah. 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 I mean, you could see that in pretty much anything, right? But, um, Sorry is very when people when Canadians say sorry, that's the, I've never heard a Canadian say stoot. I've never heard a Canadian say a boot. I've heard them yeah. say sorry a lot. They say sorry, yes, they say sorry a lot. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But no, heard, no, no, I like it. I like sorry more than sorry. Sorry. I've heard better. a boot before. Sorry. Boot? I've never heard boot, and I really haven't. Yeah, I've not heard a boot myself. No, it's and that's, how, that's how I'm saying it. Like, it's kind of like, the, like in the South here where people that draw, sometimes you hear when people. But, but South, buddy. South Park is uh, – no, buddy. Too. So there was someone in the chat last night when we were offline that said buddy constantly. I was like, this is fantastic. Like, buddy. I, 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 say, I say buddy now. Man. I'm not yeah, your yeah. guy, friend. I'm yeah. not your I'm not friend, your pal. Friend, buddy. I'm not your pal, buddy. I'm not your buddy guy. Yeah, it's so fantastic. <laughs> So good. <laughs> so South Park is fantastic because I'm pretty sure all Canadians, their uh, jaw and hinges as you guys talk, right, Redbeard? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, it's completely accurate. The top half of my head is obviously just bobbling mm-hmm. around as I'm talking. You can see, yeah. And we're always trying to start wars with one another, like just you know, all the I time. do have a cousin, my cousin Jeff. He literally, like, if you, I don't know, if, but it's it's a bit of a serious, some Canadians, when they talk, they're, they're, they're like, their head, they look like a fucking bobblehead. And my cousin Jeff. <laughs> It's a, it's almost Jeez. hard to talk in. It's like it's like it's like early. Is that where you think they got it from? Do you, is I don't that know. I think South Park got it from, like, because you guys are very. Um... I I want to, some some Canadians. That is a thing. Like they'll talk to you, and it's like with every word, their head is like moving with everything yeah, yeah. they say, and yeah. it's fucking weird, man. I can see that. And yeah, my, my, my cousin, talk, my cousin, talk with my your cousin, head. like a lot of people yeah. talk. No, that's that's true of like anybody. Like there's somebody in any culture will be a hand talker. That's just a thing. Mm-hmm. But my cousin Jeff, he literally moved out to uh, west of Alberta. That's like the oil province, and so they're all about you know like well we we, we can't we can't have clean anything. We have to keep burning everything. And mm-hmm. he's very he's very pro Trump. It, it's it's yeah. Who needs an ozone layer? Not us. We're not into the it. only posts I see him about him by him or on Facebook and stuff will be like any time that. It's funny because he follows like the party in Canada that he hates. Yeah, yeah, no and they'll politics. make a po- no Sorry, sorry. I'm just saying all all I see from him is like just the most redneck like I don't know, he used to be somebody I looked up to as a kid. Like he was like my favorite cousin. I always thought he was like and he just like he devolved into this I don't even know anymore. Can we send him this video? <laughs> I could, I could link it to him. This is what Kerry thinks of you. Oh well, no, he knows. I've I went off on him on Facebook. I don't even know why I stuff still I don't want to friend him because you might like get 
offended and I don't want to start shit because he's my cousin. Sounds like the internet to me. Um, Chris says, I drink Corona (laughs) with two limes so I don't taste the beer. That's what most people do. Well played. played. Uh, Jamie says, Don't garnish your beer. (laughs) Don't fruit the beer. Oh, you can fruit the beer. Don't garnish it. (laughs) (laughs) Don't don't fruit the water. Don't garnish it either. Um, Jamie says, we say bud a bunch. I call everyone bud, buddy. And then uh, Chris says, much yes, a eh? My cousin Jeff, a eh, buddy. Yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> it's, it's you guys in a nutshell. There's a lot of A's, a lot of buddies, a lot of sorties. I must, I must refill. I would hurt. <laughs> no, it's, it's like anything else, right? Stereoty- stereotypes are you know, conceived out of some truths, like like stereotypes. That's how they start. Is like some, but then they're exaggerated, where it's like, okay, everybody does this if they're a certain race or uh, you know they're a certain nationality, and it's like, no, I get what you're saying, but like not every single person within this whatever does this, and then it becomes exaggerated, and it's just how it works. That's how stereotypes work, unfortunately, right? Like all Polish people, we like pierogies, right? No, we totally do. We're a big fan of pierogies. That's what we do. We eat them because they're good. <laughs> they're fucking good. Who doesn't like? I've never heard anyone's like, "Oh, I don't like pierogies." They're fucking. There's stuff inside of like basically pasta. Like it's what it. That's what it is. It's a fucking dumpling with stuff inside. What do you want? Everyone likes those. How do you not like? It? It's like oh, all Italians like uh, you know fucking Italian food, spaghetti. Yes, because it's good. Yeah. People like, don't like pierogies. Pierogies are fucking delicious. I'm, I'm saying everyone likes pierogies, but like they're like boil oh, them and then like fry pierogies. them and fucking bake yes, you boil them. them and yes. oh, oh, I'm fucking so fat and hungry, and I goddamn you, red beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I made some, actually. I made I made I made a fucking kick ass bowl of chili tonight. Yeah, I made beer? some uh, air fried chicken wings. I didn't use beer. Silly, what beer it is so good. I, I did one time. It was actually really good. But I, I have a. A regular recipe I use, and it's also damn good, and it doesn't require me not being able to drink that beer. <laughs> Put a stout. It's a com- compromise, you know. Put a stout. Although actually, this this, this would have been this uh, American porter that I'm drinking would have actually worked. It, it, it like is a growler of it or something because that's a lot of it. You've had yeah. to, okay. It, it, I think it well, yeah. It's my sample growler for review purposes, which I'm now obviously going to have to replace. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Uh, what beer did you grab, Todd? You said you're going to get a beer. What beer did you get? Grab your porter. Oh, baby. That's going to be the uh, first review. I'm going to shout you out, Todd. I'm going to tell people, sub to your channel. Actually, I'm not because you don't have a channel. But I'm going to be like, Todd gave it to me. He's a great guy. He's a fucking, he's a panel member on Rod Show. You don't really know him, <laughs> but he's there and he does stuff. He's a good guy. He you gave me this really porter. Just lurk in the background. It's mm-hmm. kind of that creeper dude. Just, yeah, you know, whatever. He's over there. He drinks beer. You know what goes in the order? Freaking Indian food. So freaking good with Anchor Porter. You know what's good with Indian food? Anything? I haven't good. had a lot. Or like really, I, Nan bread. I love some Nan bread. Yo, it's not, like, but it's close. No, sorry, non Nan bread. No, I don't care. I really, I really potato, care. Potato, <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, I want to say, I I say I've had that in like uh, a curry type thing. Like mm-hmm. once in my life and I liked it. But I there's not like, I think there is. There's one place you know, in North Bay. What's that? That's thing I'm pretty you don't sure have a lot of Indian restaurants near you, Red? No, there's there's not there, there's a lot of restaurants, like a surprising number of restaurants here in North Bay, but not a lot of really like ethnic variety kind of stuff. There's a fair number of uh, Chinese people making sushi, which is just funny as hell to me because it's a Japanese thing. But uh, <laughs> there's uh, I like how you're not racist in that situation. Like, just <laughs> well, like, there's Asian people making sushi, but like you specified, which was nice. It's, it, it, it's, it's funny weird. because like, I, I've seen Kitchen Hood fans for a living, as you know. And I go in and see all these kitchens and yeah. like, you want to hear something like, it's, I, I don't, like, don't want to sound racist when I say it, but I, I kind of think that Chinese people Shouldn't be allowed to own Chinese food restaurants because they're always just <laughs> just like, because they're, they're, you, you clean the like, hoods and they're gross. The, it's nothing to do with the hoods. Like the oh. a, a clean the, the hoods are the hoods. That's going to be whatever they are. Mm-hmm. It's the state of the actual kitchen restaurant? itself mm-hmm. and like just the. I it makes me terrified to think Lack of, like, of they get away this. Yes, the stuff they get away with here. Like, what do they get away with? In China, like that, I, I I could not eat anything anywhere. Yeah, in we had American restaurants, and there's stuff that happens that people would not be happy about either. 
Yeah. Uh, Redbeard, what, what's uh, your cat? What's the name of it? Moo cow. No, it's called Dinner. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, like like that's the running joke, right? Like all of yeah, uh, it, no, I I, 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 say, I, I get what you're saying stuff, though. All the stuff I've seen, like I don't know if it's so much in China, but like there's some of those countries over there where the, like the dog meat festival and shit they oh, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't I can't even like like the, the kind of person you have to be. No, to, I mean that's to, their thing. Like it's like yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah but, but but still, so they, like the, they can believe, the, the dog. The dog is this animal that like is trusting and like wants to be your friend and everything. It's, but that's it's like, like our that's like our culture. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's not their it's, culture. I don't care if it's their culture. That that aspect of their culture is fucking terrifying. Well, I'm, and I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that, and awful. In my opinion, I'm sure there's a culture out there that absolutely adores chickens. They're like the god of chicken people or whatever, and we eat chicken <laughs> on a daily basis. And they're like, right. in, in no in, way would we ever kill chickens. Cows, cows, hamburgers, well, one of my favorite. Yeah, things. yeah. I, I mean, it's all, I just, I, just, I, just, know, I, I, I get what you're saying, dogs. but no, I mean, I don't know. for yeah, you, it's wrong. Like your attachment to dogs. Yeah, yeah it's but, like, um, but so yeah. many people have attachment to dogs. That's you well, know, it's like that's in. But that's here. I mean, that's what yeah, that's yeah, I want to say over the over there though, like you hear stories about like people like they're they they have the pet dog and they'll let it out for a pee or something, <laughs> and somebody will grab it and it'll end up on one of these well, trucks going to one of these. Yeah. Why the hell are you letting it yeah, out? If you live, yeah, if you live in a if you live in a country or uh, a city I, or anything where like dogs are for dinner, probably not yeah. let my dog outside. Yeah. I mean unless I'm next to him. You're not letting a chicken walk past KFC. Like the dog, dogs were not, dogs were not, dogs were not like changed by us from wolves into these animals that we now consider our friends for there's consumption purposes. Whereas like cows were basically cows are food at like they don't exist in the wild. A cow or even we a took chicken. Them out of the wild, we raise them now. Yeah, all right. That's what I'm saying like we so, bred all that. No, no, good. this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I should read some <laughs> comments because whatever's just happening. Go vegan, just go vegan and be done with it. Yeah, be done with it. Eat all the plant based oh, life. I and could not do that. Eat though. fake chicken wings. <laughs> is fantastic. Um, all right, but before you read the I, comments, I, I comments, take it off, off, Eric. Eric, hold on. Hold on. Take before you read the comments, Eric, I'm, take I'm out. All right, Eric. Oh, all peace, right, man. Eric. We're going to get your cool PSA at the end, though. He already did it once. I already did it once. You want me to do it again? I mean, how about a half one? Like, can you, like, you just summarize? Just summarize it. All right. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Guys, if you had too much to drink, get a designated driver because there's zero tolerance now. Just don't do it. Just get a ride from somebody. Listen to this fucking dude. Yeah. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Damn right. Good, good to see you again, Eric, man. Have a All great right. night. Take care, All guys. Right, have, a good, have a good Friday. See you. Too. Too. All right. See you. Peace, Cheers. man. All right. We'll read the comments here. It's so that, much one quick things. thing, one tiny thing, uh, going back to the vegan thing, I do oh, want to try that impossible. I just want to try that impossible oh, burger. That's all I said. That's it. That's it. That's it. Where's the impossible burger? It's a plant thing, but apparently it tastes like it bleeds. Oh, it don't it's, say it uh, tastes like a burger because it can't taste like a burger. Yeah. All right. We're not, <laughs> no, gonna, no, argue, no, we're not no, gonna debate. We're not gonna debate. No, it, it's it's so it's so like YouTube and check it out. It's but something it's where like they, they actually take all these things and put them together. And there's something that like it's called heme or something that actually mm -hmm. is like the, the bleeding factor in a burger. So it actually blood, it's the juices and stuff, whatever it is. And they found a way to extract this from plants. And this burger of uh, some people. So texture, texturally and visually, it looks like it probably yeah. not taste wise. Um, Apparently, I want to try it. Though. That's all I'm saying. Go I ahead with give, the I would give it a go. I, I, I get it. Um, Jamie says, if you don't like pierogies, I'm not sure we can be friends. Yeah, no, I agree. Like that's <laughs> it's such a simple food. Like I've never heard me like, oh, pierogies are gross. It's like what? Do you not like life? What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Um, Chris says Joe's channel, April Fools. No, it is coming April first, and that is on purpose. It's going to be three videos, one of which is going to be an Anchor Porter review, and it's going to be absolutely terrible, and I can't wait. Um, <laughs> Jason Four, he says, lots of Punjabi immigrants here. Yeah, they call it being thrifty, I think, when he's talking. We were talking about uh, the certain things. He says, bro, I've heard those pictures were taken as requests by PETA guests. They didn't know the dog they were asked to kill would be posted everywhere. And then he said, some old farmer. And then he said, we're barbaric for eating beef and pork. And yes, in some cultures, we are bar barbaric for doing such things. And he says, Redbeard, your dog would eat you without thinking twice. 
<laughs> not a chance. <laughs> I had, my, my reply is like, yeah, cats have been known to chew on people when they die, but dogs generally don't do that to their their owner. They'll like lay there beside and like some dogs have like died beside their dead owner because they just they won't. They're stupid because you got to eat that person to stay alive, right? Like, love, man. Love, no, love, man. love is it? Dogs can I, feel love, man. I mean, you know, you talk about like people like, like uh, cats are like hunters. So, well, you know. you've heard stories about people needing to be cannibals to stay alive. It's like you're you're faced with life or death. Oh yeah, you don't know what you could but do. Was like Jamestown, like they were starving, the they started yeah. eating people. We at the same time though, I'm sure like some people. Somebody was like, would, "Where's would just some some people, people would just starve to death because they wouldn't be." So some people wouldn't be able it, to bring. It, yeah, it all depends on the person, but like, yeah. if it, it push I don't know shove, what happened for me. Like, no, I and, I, and that's the thing. I don't think any of us could, with a hundred percent certainty, say, "Yeah, I totally eat someone." You know, I'd, I'd I'd eat their dead body to stay alive because I like I don't know if I'm in that situation. Like right now, I would say probably. You do so. pretty meaty. I but you can probably get a good roast out of you. Yeah, no, you do me. Oh, you'd love it, guys. Perfect fat to, to meat ratio. You'd love it. Um, no, but it's one of those things where it's like... I don't Marinated know. in all that beer over the years? Yeah, damn But when you're, when you're sitting there and you're, you're thinking to yourself, like, oh, my God, I'm going to die or I could eat this person and possibly stay alive and get rescued or whatever, you, until you're in that situation, I don't think you can say 100% like certain. people that had to right. drink their pee to stay hydrated. Yeah, like, I don't want to drink my own urine, ever. Apparently, apparently that doesn't <laughs> actually help hydrate you at all. It just fucking, it's, it's no, a bad it's survival, idea. Survival experts well, will tell you to do that. It Jason depends Burke, on some, some will, some won't. Some will tell Jason you to do that. There's eat and there's eat, and I, and, I, and I would replace it with there's eat and survive. There's eating as in, oh, you're going to sit down to eat, and then there's, oh, my God, you're totally not going to be alive if you don't do this. If you're in that situation... I don't think you could tell what you would do, okay. but like me thinking now, and I think a lot, yeah, I mean, I totally, I'd try, I'd have, like, I don't want to die, especially if there's the the possibility of being rescued or surviving. If there's a chance, that's where I think like you'd have, your like mind would have to go and be like, look, you don't want to totally eat another person. But if there's even like a 5%, 10% chance you're going to get rescued, yeah. Yeah, you might have to live with that for the rest of your life, but you do what you did to survive. And Jason clarified his comment for you. What do you say? <laughs> oh, he says sexually. <laughs> is uh, Jason Voorhees' name? Is that Paul out there? What is happening? Uh, uh, but but Jamie is, said, "Is the person you're eating dead or alive?" Oh, dead. Oh, I wouldn't eat someone alive. That's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, that would be really weird. I'm not fucking Jeffrey Dahmer over here trying to kill people. Eat them. Um, That's weird, but they're dead. Just it was. trying to clarify. Just well, if they're sure. dead, like, they don't have a choice, and also you're going to die next. It's like almost like out of <laughs> hey, survival. I gotta eat this like, hey, 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 I'm just sleeping. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm just gnawing on your leg over here. No big deal. <laughs> um, James says, if a red beard kneeled over, a cat would eat his face. A dog would just piss in his frizzy face hair. <laughs> Could happen. I'm not saying. Yeah, Jason Vorey says, "What would a suicidal person do if you pointed oh. a gun at their face?" I have no idea. I have no idea where he's even going. There. <laughs> uh, Redbeard's probably going to make sure his fucking dog's not going to eat him later on. <laughs> he's, so, he's going to feed him right now, just to make sure. Check that cat. I'm gonna go have a heart to heart with him. Like, look, 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 we're cool, right? I'll like, my goddamn vlog. I'm doing it right now. If I don't fall asleep tonight, like, if I fall asleep tonight, you're gonna eat me. You're gonna try to gnaw my leg off. What's gonna happen? Like, I'll feed you. I'll make sure to take you out, and you can piss, and then you can have some food. <laughs> Chris, hey buddy, can I eat your hand? A eh? yeah, that's a. Oh, name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm totally sorry. It was like an old cartoon where it was like Bugs Bunny or something, where they were like starving. They're looking at each other like they're actually food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to turn this into the sports ball, but I enjoy sports quite a bit, and I know you guys. Um, so the NCAA tournament, uh, the the, the Buffalo uh, Bulls here are looking pretty good in the MAC um, tournament. Looks like they might make the tourney if they win out. Um, I'm actually going to watch some of the tournament this year. For, really? For, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, if, if they make it. They win their conference. Have they won their conference yet? Uh, no, they haven't, but they're like the clearly the best team in the conference. And uh, they, they could get upset. Are, no, are they in it or are they going to the Dayton play-in game? I think if they win, they're, they, I guess they're uh, – what's the what's the thing that's really good? They're, um, what's, the, what's the 
if they win their tournament, then you're in automatic. Yeah, yeah what's, what's, like the, the what's the thing? Date, what's the yeah. number or whatever they fucking call RPI. it? RPI is really good, apparently. So, like, I don't think they're going to have, like, a play-in game or whatever bullshit. I think they're actually going to be probably, like, a, like a 12, 12, 12 to 15 seeds. Oh, they're upset city right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh. And they haven't – I remember the last time they were in, I had to be, like, fucking – I don't know how long ago. Uh, they lost Bobby Hurley, though. Bobby oh, he Hurley. was the head coach with Hurley. Okay. Then he went to Arizona, yeah, and they have Nate Oates, uh, who was, like, the assistant. He took over, and everyone was, like, really disappointed. It's, like, the best year they've ever had. Um, and they just resign him to a five year deal, which is good because when somebody does like when you're Buffalo uh college sports, it's like you're just grooming people to go to better places, right? So to <laughs> actually be able to keep somebody is like unheard of. So they actually were able to keep their coach at least for another year. So I I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I know you last week, what was it, the Big Ten? Was it the Big Ten tournament? Yeah. Um, and they, uh, they dude, that tall. was a crazy almost upset. Um, Which is kind of weird, like Todd's Big Ten, but they got like twelve teams, and I'm Big Twelve. We got like 10. yeah, they can't add. They're Polish. It's okay, no big deal. <laughs> Numbers, how do they work? I have no hey, idea. Actually, Rod, we got fourteen teams. Yeah, you oh, dumb. Right. Fourteen. Yeah. You can't add either. None of us can. Because Rutgers is, is like Big Ten, even though they're in New Jersey. What? You, you know what's cool? You know what, you know what I get about like college conferences, whether it's football or uh, basketball. It's like I get you want to keep the identity, so like people know te- most teams in Big Ten. But it's like at the point in which you your teams increase or decrease, change the fucking name to something that makes sense. It's like our Big Ten. Well, we have 14 teams. What the fuck are you the Big Ten for? Well, we used to have 10 teams. Now we have 14. What the fuck? How are you still the Big Ten? I don't know. I, I think the Pac-12 has less than 12 now. Don't yeah, they? yeah, Pac-12. Yeah. We have 10 teams. Yeah. Okay, well, you can't add or just, or subtract. <laughs> Math. At least they did. Like when they did the Big East, the Big East made sense. It's the Big East, so you could have as many as you want because it's just. The oh yeah, East. like Conference uh, USA or whatever. So like, that's cool. Have yeah. five fucking eighty teams doesn't matter. Your Conference USA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to use a number, then make the number right. I will say, though, honestly, even though I'm not a huge college basketball, like I, I, I enjoy it. I like college basketball for what it is. Like it's, it's fucking really good basketball. You know, it's pure whatever. I always watch NCAA tournament each year because it's fun. I love watching upsets. I love watching just good basketball. Like, I like the sport of basketball, and I probably should get back in the NBA. But, like, there was a point there from, like, 2000 to, like, 2010 where the NBA was sucked ass for me. Like, I didn't like it. I think the NBA is probably the best it's ever been talent-wise right now. Yeah. Um, like, Because I always harken back, and we're kind of the same age. I harken back yeah. to, like, the early mid-90s. Or late 80s, you had Bird. You know, you had Bird's fucking Celtics. You had Showtime Lakers. You had Jordan. You had fucking... Ewing There's and the Knicks. Bird. You had Olajuwon and the Rockets. Bird. You had Robinson and the Spurs. You had fucking Barkley wherever he was dominating. It's fucking fun watching NBA like until about the late nineties, and then I just kind of fell out, and then it was just kind of eh. but <laughs> NBA looks pretty solid nowadays. But college basketball has always kind of been consistent. That's the one thing yeah. about it, right? So I feel like the NBA is kind of watered down now because. Well, like there's they top got, teams. I think like they got, they got too many teams in the NBA now. And they and it's like they have three or four top teams. That's what I liked about like the mid nineties yeah, basketball. Yeah, I, agree you with, did, I agree with you, Jim. You had you had Jordan, but then like you had I, I even didn't mention Malone and Stockton. You had like eight, 10, 12 teams. They're always in contention, had good players, good basketball. Yeah. Like now you have the Warriors, the Cavs, and, and the Rockets, and like a couple other teams. That's it. That's it. It was definitely more balanced back then for sure. Yeah. Now, now you got all these uh, teams that want to make a super team. You grab all the superstars and. I the Super Supersonics, which was a cool name for a team. Seattle Supersonics. <laughs> now you got the. What are the Pelicans? New Orleans Pelicans. Nah, Pelicans. I always think of Scarface. That's what I do too. The, 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 the best was here in Canada with the, uh, the CFL. When we had the, uh, they finally changed it, but there was the two teams called the Rough Riders in the like seven or six team league that we have up here. The dumbest thing in the world. It was like five teams, and two of them are called the Rough Riders. It's just fucking ridiculous. Redbeard, <laughs> you're my boy. I love you. I love you, man. Right, dude. No, you're, gr- you're great, dude. I do. You're a good, dude. You ever bring CFL up in this hizzy again? <laughs> There's trouble. There's trouble. I don't know what the literally, CFL literally, is. Literally, what I just said about the CFL is like all I know about. I will say this though: it's okay. Bill, Bills fans, uh, Buffalo Bills fans in Western New York will always, always have love for the CFL because of Doug Flutie. Aside from that, they don't know it exists. But Doug Flutie, 
he did stuff. They liked him, and then he got kicked out of Buffalo Warren for an inferior there. fucking quarterback. But they always remember. <laughs> Good stuff. Now the uh, the CFL though, the, the, you'll every year you'll see CFL guys that'll uh, get signed by. Uh, NFL teams and sometimes yeah. they become good. There's a great defensive end. Well, he's getting older now, but Cameron Wake uh, in uh, yeah, you know, from the Miami uh, Dolphins. He went from CFL to being like one of the best defensive ends in football. Like, yeah, there's definitely talent that goes there. Um, but a lot of people in the states don't know about it because it's a CFL and it doesn't get really outside of Canada unless well, you're. Yeah, well, and it's so much smaller. The the when they put him on ESPN, it's usually going to some sport. How, how yeah, teams, Grey Cup. Grey Cup's are, about it. You guys know how many teams are in the nfl 32 32 yeah and again like there's i'm not even sure how many up here there's not a lot of teams in this no, there isn't. at all it's tiny so i do that, enjoy that three down thing which is like what not, not, yeah, that's three, yeah isn't the, the field but i like you're in the cfl yeah. you can't fair catch or something there, there's a dude, there's a lot of crazy rules that i'd like to actually see ad- adopted to the nfl but yeah there's some weird shit we we perceive to be weird, but some of the points, CFL. some of the points being done, yeah. You can get one point in the CFL, yeah. which is fucking crazy odd. But like, okay, you, you get that single point. You get that. Oh, it's not an extra point. Oh, you get like a single point aside from an extra point. It's like, I don't understand how the score is being done. Yeah. Like, oh, man, you, 17, 16, What happened? Yeah, no, it's weird. And, and like the and the field goal posts are at the front of the end zone too. Yeah, we stopped. We moved them because players would what run into them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's too many injuries getting yeah. under the CFL. We can leave it right in front. They're like there's this object <laughs> in the middle of the field. Technically, what do we do? Just run into it. Run a post to the post. What? Yeah, <laughs> the yeah well, that's what they call run a post. You run in the middle of the field. And what happens? You hit the fucking goal post. Get you in the back of the goal post. <laughs> How about the Olympics this year? We're not going to watch any, but uh, dude, I will say, I will say this year, I, I like it's the over, Olympics. Right? No, I'm saying yeah, I, I like it's the, long over now. Oh no, it's way. It's, yeah. it's like fifth place or something. Yeah, we we're not great at the winter Olympics. We kicked ass this time. Usually, all the Scandinavian countries just beat the shit out of us because it's like snowing oh, eleven months out of the year. We did win in curling though, so dude, dude that was fantastic. We destroyed, the Canadians, guess what? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, we, 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 but we, curling. We, no, we we got fucking we got uh. Like upset bad in curling yeah. and hockey. Yeah, two of our sports that are like. Well, here's our the thing about hockey, kind of thing. I love hockey. Obviously, I'm a Sabres fan. I fucking watch tons of NHL. I love it. All right, the fucking Olympics this year suck. The fact that l- listen, the Olympics are what supposed to be the best of the best, yeah. and then you don't put the best players in the Olympics. Well, yeah, and, they took the NHL and, for the first time yeah, in a while. Like, yeah. But yet, the Russians had the best team because they have a pro t- uh, pro league over there called the KHL. And there's a lot of Russians that go back home when they when they get older. So like their Olympic team was way better than any other Olympic team, and obviously they ended up winning. It it was a sh- it was stupid this year. I thought they weren't even allowed in the Olympics. Well, they were Olympic Russia. Some weren't, some weren't allowed, yeah. but some did. Okay, okay. Uh, they were called the Olympic athletes from Russia. They were called OAR. Oh, nice. Which was oh, terrible. Was that a music group or? Yeah, yeah, no, they got. <laughs> they actually had an interview with like the lead singer or like the the. the I think it was the lead singer. And they're like, totally got soup crazy exposure from this year for O O A R being the abbreviation for the the Russian Olympics. I'm like, oh my god, that's, that's a crazy. trademark dispute right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Stone and Keystone all over. I really did <laughs> like uh, the last time it was uh, what is it? Was it the last, last Winter Olympics were in Canada, weren't they? Were out in Vancouver or? Uh, no, it was 2000, I want to say that was 2008. It would have been 2010. Uh, no, 2010. The opening 2010. ceremonies, though, when, uh, I don't know, you might don't know, but uh, Ashley McIsaac, he's like a guy from the West Coast, or the, mm-hmm. the East Coast, sorry, and he's a fiddle player, and he plays like unbelievable, and like the part, like when he was in the opening ceremony, this like plinth thing came up, and he was like standing on it, playing his fiddle, and uh, no. Oh, I love I love the fiddle just first off, and he is just fucking oh, astonishing. Two things that I learned tonight: number one, Redbeard loves the fiddle; number two, he loves fiddle players. And <laughs> I, love I love the fact that I learned that about you tonight. Uh, Kat, my grandpa used to play the fiddle, man. He was fucking sweet. He was amazing. There was a little controversy in the Olympics this year with the nip slips that happened. The what? Ice when they were ice dancing or whatever. A couple, I guess, nip slips oh. happened. Yeah, oh, well, I'm down with some nip slips. <laughs> no. You're not living unless you get nip slips. Um, uh, on the tenth, Chris says, um, <laughs> "What's that even mean?" <laughs> Chris, 
<laughs> it says back in the day you could name two to three players on each team in the NBA without hesitation. I agree. Um, Jamie says, if I was from Buffalo, I'd be saying, fuck football, bro. Uh, I'm not a Bills fan, but yeah, that's usually how it works. And then uh, the Winter Olympics equals Sean White FTW. Um, more like Sean White equals fuck certain things and then get in trouble for it and then he's cool with it. I don't know. Like he, the whole controversy with Sean White, like making inappropriate comments is kind of messed up. And I didn't, I didn't get too much into that. Uh, he apologized for it. Yeah. So. so that means it's all right. Uh, yeah, anybody see the, uh, sorry, go ahead, Joe. Sorry. I'll just say the Olympics. You have the best, you know, you're supposed to have the best of every single, you know, the best athletes of every single uh, sport you have. And in hockey, that didn't ring true. So I don't even like, Hockey this year, I didn't watch. Yeah, but it's like during it. hockey season, right? So you can't really send the best. Player. Well, yeah, it's because Gary Bevin's a piece of shit. Uh, he usually does it each year, and they they make it work. And they didn't want to make it work because they're like, well, we don't get any money from that school. But it's also the Olympics has been around longer than your stupid NHL. So get your shit together, stop being a douchebag, and send them over. Okay, especially since the USA would have had one of the best teams in a long time. Of but it's like summer. Don't need, don't need to do baseball in the Olympics still. Uh, no, they they uh no, they took they I think they do the way. I think they might reinstate softball because they took they softball. They should have baseball in the Olympics. They man. should, but now they have their stupid fucking MLB sanctions their whatever the fucking Well they know, have the world they have that world uh, yeah, the the like world. world game now instead. Yeah, sanctioned by the MLB because like yeah. they were like with yeah. The thing is, is like I, I get it. These are sports. I don't even know if we will win baseball because some of those Latin players, some of those Latin countries, oh, dude, some of the Mexican teams and some of the yeah. Japanese teams are really good too. Like, and, and that's the thing too is um, a lot of these Olympic they play all the time. Like they're they're the same team and they play throughout the year. And then even though we have the best players, we whether it's hockey or baseball, you throw a team together, it's not necessarily going to gel, and they're not going to be the best if they they're not playing as a team. So yeah, you watch the All Star games and stuff, and quite quite often like mm-hmm. they're not as good as they would be the players that spent like the players as they would be on their normal team kind of thing where they know the guys and what's going to happen and yeah yeah you got yeah. you got to play as a team. It's it can't just be twenty. You know, individual superstars. It's like you still got to have a team. That, that's that's the thing about most sports. You have roles for people. Like you can't in basketball just have all the superstars. You got to have guys that are gritty and get rebounds, do the dirty work, right? I mean, play good defense. Can't just have somebody that just scores all the points. Same thing in hockey. You need to roll four lines. In football, you need a good offense, good defense. Uh, it's just how it's it's a team effort. So when you see the superstars at, on a team like the Olympics, a lot of time necessarily not the best team, not the best talent wins. A lot of times it's the best team that wins. No, yeah, I agree for sure. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic, baby! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, awesome. I hate to run, but I gotta jump off. It's late. Right, it is yeah. late. Five thirty comes early. Yeah. Are you yeah. working tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, we don't get off every Friday like you do, Rod. Yeah, Rod. Get off every Friday. I haven't been off that <laughs> every <laughs> other Friday time. Let's be clear, every other Friday. It's because it's a holiday. And happy for birthday! Who, it's officially your birthday, birthday now, so that's oh, birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to figure out what I'm going to do besides drink beer. Right away, yeah, I'm Joe. <clears throat> Joe, you're coming up for the Albinos Beer Festival, right? Or the Ball of Share? Uh, probably. Oh, cool. So, I don't know for sure, but yeah, probably. All right, take it easy. I, 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 I'm, I'm peace, man. Have a great night. You I'm going to say I'm, I'm about 90% confirmed for that weekend. So oh, I'm going to say I'd, I'd love, to, love to meet you, man. Yeah, no, I mean, cool. uh, yeah, no, it's, it's <coughs> probable. I never know until like a week or two out. Rod, Rod, Rod as well. Get your ass to the beer festival. Rod's not coming. Uh, <laughs> come that's on, like a six on, hour man. drive, bro. Let's settle down. That's pretty much what far I'm driving. I'm like he, five. That's true. That's true. But he's <laughs> not. You've got to be really up there in Canada, I guess, where you're at. Not, not even, man. Like, I'm not even halfway up. Or is just driving to the or something. Like, yeah, just, our, our speed limits are stupid, for one thing. And it's just. Which is speed limit usually? Um, on the highway, the, the high speed limit in Ontario is 100 kilometers an hour, which translates to not even 70 miles an hour, I want to say. Mm. And it's yeah, stupid because like those those speed limits were implemented in like the seventies when like fair enough the oil crisis and shit plus cars back then couldn't handle that well at speeds much over that but nowadays 
fucking well, here, up that shit to like 120, wait, man. I hate it so much. But but here but here's the thing, Redbeard. Like in New York State, you're not going over 65 miles an hour. See, we're 70, 75 here. Yeah, 65 here, man. There's not many places. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, again, like it just I feel like that you guys as well should revisit your speed limits because like again like on the interstate and stuff down there and like here on the four lanes that the divide highways no like i mean I, where i'm at I'm not, not, like I have the, 85, 90. the last speed oh, ticket the last speeding ticket i got the cop was nice and only charged me for 120 but i was doing 140 so 40 over and but still like at that speed in that in those weather conditions i was they were, I, was, I wasn't stupid. I wasn't like being reckless. You know what I mean? Like I was doing 140, mm -hmm. so I was going way, I was going fast. But there was no like scariness to it. It didn't feel like I was gonna lose control. You know what I mean? That it was. It's. I could have went faster and still been okay, kind of thing. Like it's the, the thing about you though, Redbeard. You live in North Bay, right? You go six I, hours. Listen, you go I, six. I, you go six hours to the south. You're in Toronto. Yeah. You go six hours to the north. Where the fuck are you? Um, and but I know I, where no, no, T Timmins, Ontario, and Timmins is uh, about the same size as North Bay, actually. It's about four hours north, but once yeah. you hit there, there's I know actually Thunder Bay. I'm not sure but, how big but Thunder, Thunder Bay is big enough. way west, though, of you, right? No, no, it's you're doing 140 Thunder Bay is almost 12 hours north to me. North, no, I'm looking, I'm looking at, on? yeah, I'm looking at the map. You're doing 140 kilometers per hour. So that's just like 87 miles an hour here. That's yeah, nothing. It's, it, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like uh, 160 is about is about 100 miles an hour. That's about how uh, I know things. I, like, I know that. I, I think, think my car dropped to 115 before. Down, down, down in the yeah, down in. Which would be 185 guys, kilometers. Yo, Thunder you guys, do, uh, you guys do the zero to 60 time for your speedometer? Like if your car rate, like what, what's my car do with your – ours is uh, in the – Pamphlets and shit, they get the zero to a hundred time because kilometers are stupid. <laughs> well, not, not even, like, well, actually, we're the only, I mean, everybody else in the world pretty much uses that system, except, you know, we don't. Yeah, just for, for, for the speed of a car, though, I just like for, I watch a lot of Top Gear and the Grand Tour and that kind of shit. So I'm miles per hour is kind of, and any car game you play defaults to miles per hour. And I never go, I never, I never change it. So it's just like, I'm just used to it. The fastest I've ever gone in a car was my, Volkswagen Cabriolet, my 1985 Volkswagen Cabriolet. I got that thing going 195 on the 401 down the way to Toronto one time. 195 car? That's pretty good. Now, now hang on. It was guys. awesome. I just want to clarify, clarify here. Num number one, Jamie, Jamie said Redbeard is pretty much at the border with the rest of Canada. He's just north because Ontario hangs way down. Most of us live as close as possible to the US LL, which is like 90% of the Canadians live, I guess, with the, my fair guy. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. But I'm looking at the Thunder Bay, and, I, and I'm right. You're right, but I'm right also. Thunder Bay is totally to the west. The, Thunder Bay is basically above Wisconsin, which but is north. It's north, but like super west. It's northwest beyond belief. Um, and yeah, no, like if you look at where Thunder Bay is, it's only slightly higher than like Ottawa and Montreal and actually lower than Quebec City. It's just Ontario is so huge that yeah. I mean, yeah. most of it is, you know, it's it's basically Tr Toronto and down is where like most like Toronto to Ottawa oh. and down is where most oh, people so, live. Yeah, for sure. Like actually, how, how far how far away from Th Kenora further or closer than Thunder Bay? That's where uh, Lake, Lake Lake of the Woods Brewing Company. Those those are the guys that uh. I was how, how, how do you, how do you spell, spell it? Kenora, K E N O R A, Kenora. Um, Kenora is actually past Thunder Bay, more to the west, on the border of Manitoba. Yeah, basically. Pretty much on the border, yeah. Like I know the uh, the rep that I was working with, the guy who hired mm -hmm. me and paid me to go to beer festivals and drink beer and do vlogs. Like he's an awesome guy, but uh. He, he when he has to go there because he's actually the rep in Ottawa. So when yep. he has to go to the brewery, he flies to Winnipeg in Manitoba and then just drives like a couple hours to Kenora from there, as opposed to driving. Yeah, to drive to Kenora, it's seventeen hours and twenty four minutes for you. Yeah, I I'd, I'd, I'd probably fly. <laughs> Flying, it's it says five hours and forty minutes still. That's crazy. Although Marcel wants to, Marcel wants to do like some kind of crazy. Let let let's drive there. Let's actually do it. Let's let's do a road trip and do a vlog. Yeah, you're and better stuff. off getting a fucking uh, what you call it a um 
passport and just driving to the U.S. and getting a lot of awesome stuff and coming back. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's we're going to go up there and actually because that that whole area in the summertime it is a huge tourist like fishing, uh, camping kind gotcha. of outdoorsy yeah. area. So I'm sure a lot of people from Minnesota go up there because it's on the basically almost the border of Minnesota and North Dakota, basically in that area. So Kenora. Yeah, Kenora is right above Minnesota. Really? Yeah, directly above well, it. Well, I guess yeah, because Ontario comes way down. I never think of that. Ontario, it's, where the where the furthest west of Ontario borders is basically right in the middle of Minnesota, to the north of the very north of Minnesota, but like kind of in the middle of of it. So, um, I got gotcha. you. And gotcha. then if you go a little further to the west, Winnipeg, specifically Manitoba borders Minnesota, and then mostly North Dakota. So. Oh, J J Jamie used to drive to North Bay a couple times a year. Yeah, he says hockey tourney in Sunridge, uh, Sundridge, and a uh, good friend lives in North Bay. It's, it's Sunridge. Nobody nobody pronounces that D. It's it's sunny. No, sun I, 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 there's, yes, there, I there's a like, Dodge. I, I said it like, right the first time. Then wait, is there a D there? <laughs> there there's a uh, like the uh, they 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 they're one of the small towns that got bypassed by the uh, four lane highway going through. So it's like they're they're not I see as driven yeah. through as they used to be. But uh, there's a Dodge dealership that's been there since I've since I've been long enough to remember, and uh, it's called Mac Lang, and like their thing is like in sunny Sunridge sells for less, and there's like do 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 and then there's like this horn song they play in their fucking ads. It's like iconic. The but, the one uh, the one thing I see about Ontario specifically more so than like just you know looking at New York State and. Any place that's really bordering, maybe outside of Vermont, is man. There's so many little bodies of water. Like as you oh. go, you know, further, further north. Yeah. Like if you go all the way up to where you live, like on the way, there's just tons of bodies of water. Oh yeah, like, like, like you can like go to like that. That's how Marcel and I go camping in the summertime. We'll drive down the highway and be like, let's turn down this road. Drive down any road, and eventually there'll be a lake somewhere, and that's where we're gonna camp. I love it. Fucking crazy, man. The small town I grew up in, McKellar, Ontario, there are three, like the highway goes through McKellar, and there's Lake Manitowabing over here, and then McKellar Lake is right here on the other side of the highway, and then just up here on the other side of the highway is Armstrong Lake. There's three, like, and they all go awesome for swimming and stuff in the summertime. It was, yeah, man, it was a cool place to grow up. Jesus. Now, 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 now Rod, you grew up in, where would you grow up in New Jersey? Uh, Brooklyn across from Philadelphia in South Jersey. Yeah, when did you end up moving to uh, where you are currently? Was it after college? Yeah, yeah, after college, came up here like, back in '93. You got family still back in uh, back in Jersey? Yeah, they're in Jersey. Just my mom, but you know, <laughs> dealing with the uh, the noise, the noise and Jersey. They got a little bit of snow there, so uh, yeah. Dude, we got fucking a, like a surprise blizzard last week. It was fantastic to you know have to snow blow super heavy wet snow that was causing power problems. It's yeah. like it's like, dude, there was nothing on the ground. Next day, it was a foot of snow and everything super super fucking heavy. Snow blowing, it sucked. It was not ideal. Nice. We haven't got any. Any. well. We, we got like a foot overnight, <laughs> and yeah. it was all the you know, the typical springtime or like um, early spring or late winter, same thing like it happens in October, November where the snow is so heavy that it accumulates on trees and like power lines and takes down a bunch of, you know, a bunch of power lines and everyone has you no know, power. And, but like snow blowing it, oh my God, it's so, it sucks ass. <laughs> like <laughs> it, uh, you got to do it like three times too because it only goes through like a bit of it at a time. It sucked. I was like, and I didn't expect to get that much and all of a sudden it was randomly here and I'm like, this is, this sucks. I don't want to be here. But yeah. Hopefully it's the last like a snow that we get, but uh, you never know. You never know what this crazy weather nowadays, man. Yeah, we had a little bit of a kind of a squall this morning that nobody saw coming. Yeah. Pretty much a whiteout driving at a point, and then there were some wrecks. A couple people died this morning. Jesus. Somebody was in a wreck. On, um, they were coming to work, and ahead of them, they got in a wreck. Well, then one of the guys got out, I guess, that was trying to tell people to slow down or whatever. Which, why would you do that on the highway? I don't know. And then the car hit him. Wow. It's like, you don't get out wow. on the highway and try no. to lay people down. No, certainly not in a fucking. In yeah. Tons of snow and shit. That's that's crazy. Which I'm sure that person, you know, shitty for a while that hit him. 
It's crazy. Chad, Chad just shared a picture on Facebook of uh, some uh, unfiltered brewing, barrel aged. Sa- this beer is called Sour Motherfucker. That's uh, yeah. what the beer is called. They're out of Nova Scotia, I'm pretty sure, right? Um, I don't know. No, I'm pretty unfiltered sure, yeah. brewing and charm school pub. Yeah, that's Nova Scotia. They uh they have a tendency to post uh, or, or make beers where like they they cuss. This is bad motherfucker brew. It's like okay, settled. You're cool. What are you saying? <laughs> Get your shit together. Uh, but yeah, they, they they uh they started a couple years ago. I remember hearing about them and like I don't know some of their some of their uh names of their brews and just the way they conduct themselves on social media like they tried to be like oh we're fucking we can cuss and we can whatever we're cool and it's like dude what the did you yeah. just learn how to swear yesterday i don't understand what's happening <laughs> we, 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 we want to try our best to make sure that we get the just the bare minimum distribution for our beer because 90% of the people are not going to let us have this in their store. Yeah, like it's it's really dumb. I mean, I'm, apparently they make good beer, but it's like, you know what? If you're trying to be, it's like it's like you're trying too hard to be cool. Even if they like the word motherfucker, if they like what mother F, like asterisk, asterisk, mm-hmm. K-E-R, you know what I mean? At least try to be a bit sensory about your shit and not just like, well, here, I would, here, here, Here's our cock sucker cream ale. Yum. Like, would, there's a lot of there's a lot of like uh you know a lot of bottle shops around here that people bring their kids into and whatnot. Um yeah, there's, for sure. And it's it because they like the place I go to the most here is like a it's called Premier Gourmet, so they have gourmet everything from beer to coffee. Uh they have a deli, they have you know houseware items, the they have a, just, yeah. okay, there it goes. They have hot sauce, they have a bunch of other stuff. So it's right. one of those things where People come in with their kids and they shop and stuff. If I don't want, I wouldn't want my kid to see something that said "motherfucker" on the fucking shelf. That's not cool. For sure, man. Your your, your camera did a weird focus thing though. They did again. Is it the autofocus on your camera is uh, being kind of weird right now? What's happening? My autofocus. It keeps like just kind of randomly for a second. You out of focus and focus again. It's like no. auto focusing more than it should be. It seems like. Yeah, whatever. It's it's it's, yeah, it's all done. Good. It's, it's, it's not terrible. It's all good. It's too late now for it. It's late night TV. I, I turned the auto focus on my camera off after that whole debacle when I was like out of focus for like a whole fucking hangout that one time. Oh, were you really? Well, yeah, they were calling me Fuzzy Boy the next day. Oh crazy. yeah, we had a pixelation taking place. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it was all like just. They're calling you Pixie Boy. It's because I, I think I had like the beer like over here in this in the front in the foreground, and it kept trying to like focus on that and go back and forth between me and the beer. I see what you so did. I, I just checked the stream. I see what you meant. Like for like three seconds, it I was out of focus, then it came back. It was weird. Yeah, weird. I don't know. Might be lighting uh, in my room here. I don't. I don't have a ton of lighting, so it's like when I move, the lighting changes, and it probably fucks up. So when I, was the last time you restarted your computer? Uh, actually, every time I go on a hangout, I do before, and I got and I got brand new PCs or brand new laptop. Broken, you got to do it every time. Every night, yeah, nice. Yeah. What'd you get? Well, what's your uh, what are the what are the specs in your fancy? Uh, I got a Zeus Republic of Gamers. Uh, it's quad core, I believe, sixteen gigs of RAM. Uh, nice. What the fuck is it? It's an i7 7700. I think is the same. Yeah, it's it. It's, it's good. I, I, I wanted I to help to render all. videos is all. Yeah. I wanted to like when Best. I start my channel, my other computer took literally three hours to render a video. This one takes like thirty three minutes if I the, do the, 10, at ten eighty P sixty frames per second. It's the funny the funny thing is my actual PC renders videos faster than my laptop. Mm-hmm. But I use my PC all the time, and my 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 PC gets stupid hot when I render videos with it. Yeah. So that's like the main reason I bought the laptop. My mine's also an ASUS, but it's like it's their gaming laptop just below where it becomes the ROG gaming laptop shit. So it's I can still run, I can like play Subnautica, GTA Five, and stuff on it, no problem. But it still takes depending on I do like the 1080p, 60 frames a second, and if it's like. I want to say a 10-minute 10, 10 video takes a good hour and a half to render on that thing. But yeah, I just, it just sits over there and does it, so it's not a big deal. So. Well, that's the thing with this. Like, I I figure, like, on my own, it's, like, I did some some test ones, and it was, like, 
two and a half to three hours. And I was like, what? This is not ideal. Uh, but I had, I need a new one. Anyway, my old laptop was like seven years old. I was like, I gotta get a new one. So I did. And I got this on sale at Costco for like eight ninety nine, which was like $400 cheaper than anything. I eight dollars nine nine cent. Yeah. Eight dollars nine cent. I, really? I, I got a raw deal. The fact, the fact you got that, like I paid, I want to say almost 1500 for mine on boxing day last year. So it was yeah. on a good sale as well. And it's not as good as yours is now. So, um, yeah, I, no, I enjoyed it. That's why no, I got building, it. On, building on the one I gave you before because of your ability to get all the awesome beer. <laughs> I was very happy when I saw it. I bought it on Costco.com, and there's no Costco's within fucking an hour and 15 minutes of me, but I got I got, a, got the membership at the one that was in Rochester. It was an excuse to go to a new beer stores, too. I was like, I'll go to Costco, check this out. I'll check out these beer stores. And $110 later, I got more beer. So, Sudbury, uh, Kentucky. Uh, What's that? Yeah, 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 Costco. Yeah, there was alcohol at Costco. No, you don't really? need a membership to buy it. Oh, yeah, same thing with this Costco. You didn't oh, really? need a membership to buy anything, but it was like they charge you. Oh, so do they charge you at extra fee or is it still? No, it's just you buy it for the price because, I mean. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of cool. There's a Costco in uh that we don't have one here in North Bay. There's one in Sudbury though, which is an hour and depending on the speed of your driving, an hour and a half to an hour and like five minutes ish drive. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I've been there a couple times. It's it's cool, but it's I don't know. I I wouldn't shop there enough. I don't think to justify the cost of a membership. I'm probably going to go like one time. there either. So. I'll probably travel there once a month and and maybe spend whatever. Um, but again, it gives me an excuse to buy beers outside of my distribution area. So it's like there's a place called AJ's Beer Warehouse that is absolutely fantastic. And despite the fact they're only an hour away and they're in the same state, their distribution is still way different. So like last time I went there, I spent 110 bucks. Got like I forgot like 25, 30 beers. And uh, it, once a month, if I can do that, I, I would, what I'll do is once I start my channel, I'll probably do like a vlog there, or like a uh, on location video and see nice. if the owners are down there to, you know, let me film and maybe chat with them. But they have this beer cave that is actually, they have it set up as a cave. Like the walls are like, looks like a cave and it's all, you know, fucking refrigerated, but they have a lot of beer in there. And it's a lot of stuff I, I can't get here. So like a eh, nice excuse to just, get other beer and that's in addition cool. to going to Costco, right? Like, one, one of the nice things about my, my job, like I don't travel a lot, but I do go to Sudbury a fair bit. I go to a couple other small towns. So anytime, depending on what time I'm going, like sometimes I don't leave town until like 11 PM, everything's closed. But if I go someplace during a day, I'll try to get there, you know, a little before the job so I can hit up at least one or two LCBO slash beer stores and get a couple different beers. Welcome so right. I can, keep doing what I'm doing kind of thing. How about you, uh, Rod? Like, like, like the, I know what are your go-to places locally? And like, when you venture outside, is there any places outside of your area? Is there places that you specifically when, want? When to you venture on? outside, cause yeah. Rod, well, Rod, outside, do you ever, outside, do you ever outside leave that room, room yeah, man? I never seen of his that room. <laughs> I mean, maybe it doesn't, they need to break down the wall to get Rod. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most of my places are independent stuff here because we're just independently owned for a lot of stuff. So, I mean, you've got like again, your go-to you're local seller, place, man. You've got you say, so much beer that if you, you say you're going to the beer store, right what now. is your first and second choice? Like, where do you go local? It depends on what I got. A store that I go to that I get like wholesale deals on. That's like that. I got a store that I go to. <laughs> That does well with getting individuals, but also overseas, like it's broken down by different countries on beers. That's like Party Town. I got another one that gives really good deals, broken down individually, do a lot of good local type stuff. Plus, I got a brewing house. That's like Party Source. Um, I got another party one. Party Town buy. and Party Source. Yeah. I got another place that does well for individual bottles, and they don't do an upgrade price. They just basically sell whatever that six pack is divided by six, and they charge you that bottle. I actually got two places for that. One is Trader Joe's, another one is called Cork and Bottle. Yeah, Trader, there's some Trader, places Trader, Trader Joe's does that here. Same thing. Yeah, there's yeah, there's so. places that will charge you more for doing that. Yeah, a lot of places will. Most, uh, most places, places will charge more than that. Yeah, yeah. most places, let's really? say let's let's say it's twelve dollars. Let's say it's twelve dollars for a six pack. You obviously 
it, the maths would uh, break down to two dollars a bottle. Yeah, a lot of yeah. places will upcharge, say, fifty cents per bottle. So it's two fifty now. It's two forty nine, two fifty a bottle. So they make money on breaking it up. That's kind of right. Deal. Weird. Like actually, uh, well, here at the LCBO, it's like I'm I'm able to do it because they know me and okay, like occasionally, you know, like one bottle in a six pack will break. So it's all at the LCBO. There's always this little area in the fridge. It's like random singles kind of thing, mm -hmm. and. If there's a beer I haven't tried and it's in a six pack, I don't want to buy that six pack because what if I hate the beer? I don't want to have five beers I hate in my fridge. So they'll let me take one out and they just divide. One time they didn't divide the price. I didn't notice until I got home and I went back and they did, they did refund it and fix it all for me. But I paid like 20 bucks for like one bottle of beer this one time accidentally because it was supposed to be divided and stuff. But yeah, it was funny. But they're nice. Like they're, they're, most everybody places, that works at the LCBOs here in town are so nice to me. It's awesome. Most true no, bottle cool shops. Cool Roger discounts, but sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> no one gets Roger discounts. Most places here, like most good bottle shops, yeah, they do. They ninety eight percent of their stock is individual bottles if you want it, uh, but they do upcharge that's, because that's. I mean, again, if you're buying as individual, they you pay a premium, whether it's 10, 20%, whatever the case may be, but that's the extra you have to pay to not buy the entire four pack or six pack. And nowadays with so many of these beers costing, you know, 12, $15 a, a six pack and some cases, 12, $15 a four pack. It's like, well, I'd rather have, buy one b bottle or one can that I have to pay an extra 50 or 75 cents for than buying an entire yeah. four pack where I have to spend $15 and I might hate it to begin with. So. Yeah. That's, that's fair enough. Like I, I, I would probably, pay that oh, search hard if they were doing it but uh randomly jamie in the comments asking uh this new ontario beer i need to actually fill it up again it's 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 a really just it, it's a it, it, funny enough i'm going to make fun of it when i do the review they didn't give it a name they always name the beer this did it's, it's american porter so i just so, want to i don't i don't know if i've had anything that was i've had porters i don't know if i've had one that was like called an american i don't know what an american porter is but this is just a it's it's very much just a nice easy drinking very tasty kind of it's almost interchangeable with a stout like it's but, stuff. Uh, the places i mentioned those are just like my inner circle yeah that's you're like your local that you that's check just, that's just that's just kentucky that's just the inner circle yeah, yeah. joe's is in ohio that's my inner circle but then i've got other places that specialize in beers, other stores don't get either. Mm -hmm. At a place called oh God, like uh, secret secret, secret uh, meetings uh, that happen yeah. like once a month or something. Like <laughs> the second Tuesday, I never let me finish. Rod's, the Rod's inner circles <laughs> meeting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, I mean, Robert, I Robert, Robert, where did you sell down? I got a place like Corkopolis that does another place in Ohio, and they get beer. That's where I got, like Boom Sauce at. They get beers other places don't usually get. I got a spot in Indiana as Whitey's Packaged Liquor. They get stuff from a lot of the Indiana and maybe West Bruce. <laughs> and then, so I've got other spots and pockets around the city in Ohio. There's a place called Cappy's I go out to occasionally. And now I have stuff too that, you know, you got a routine on different things. Not to mention, a lot of these places have taps. We have taps in our stores and stuff too. Yeah, yeah. You get growler stuff pretty easily as well. So. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Well, that's that's quite a few. I mean, if you want to say low, well, what are you saying? Like within twenty minutes of your place, maybe half an hour. Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah. I mean, depths is like within twenty minutes. Um, cork and bottles like within twenty. Party source. So yeah, they're all pretty much those ones. Party source uh, twenty. Party town about twenty. And then I'll stretch it out a little bit more in a radius, depending on what I'm looking for. Like, I know, but if I yeah. said I want to do a show on beers from France, I would go to Party Town. They got the best exposure for beers Imports. from overseas. Yeah. Yeah. I, and that's kind of how it is here. So I would say for me, if you're talking 20, 25 minutes, um, Premier Gourmet is my go to. Number one, they have, like, used to talking about Party Source, they, they have, I've never seen a place that has so many import beers. Like, just, they have an entire basically shelf and not just one like three of them of just english yeah. beers it's crazy and same thing they have, they get all the crazy imports um they also have probably the best selection but a lot of times they get their stuff a day or two after other people so it's like you kind of like you go there a lot of times if 
you miss out on other places. Another place opened up to me to the um, right, right, almost on the border of Canada called Big Bottle in Lewiston. I've told Chris to go there before. The owner there, Chris, is awesome. So I know him, like I, you know, friends with him basically. And his place is, I think, a place where you can go up there and you can bring beers. And like he does shares a couple times a week, so people bring stuff there, bring a beer to share it, and then on top of that, buy stuff off the shelf. He'll crack anything open for you. He'll chill it down. Sure. I've been going there a lot because it's just a better atmosphere. That um, sounds really cool. Yeah, no, it is. And like I, I tried to tell Chris before um, and uh, Chad, but Chad doesn't have a passport. Um, like you can literally cross the border into Lewiston at uh, the Lewis and Queenston Bridge, which is almost basically it's all all the way north, almost right to Lake Ontario, like where um, Niagara on the Lake is. You cross over, and this place is three to five minutes from the border. It's insane. And then there's a, there's a fucking brewery next to the place. There is a barbecue place right there that owns the brewery down the street. There's a grocery store that has awesome craft beer, but also a lot of stuff that you can't get in Canada. There is a bunch of restaurants, like all right from the border. I just told Chris, like, Chris, you got to go there. He's like, oh, I will. I'm like, you got to. Like everything's <laughs> individual cans and bottles. You can, if you want to bring Man, back. If I, if I live down where, where him and Chad live, I would be I would have a passport for oh, if I had it. No and doubt. I would be going if I would I'd be over the border like at least once a month, man. I'd be yeah. no Wait, I, I mean I, Rod, Rod, you were saying one place if you wanted to do beers from France. How, does France actually make a lot of beer any I've never I've never had or seen a beer from France. Oh yeah. No, do they, they, do. they make some, yeah? Because I know it's like big on the wine there. There's not so so France has a pretty big craft beer scene like a I mean, um, is it was it like, t- put stuff yeah. on her. tasting yeah. niche? Tasting niche. She's she's from there. They have a, they have a pretty pretty big craft beer scene. The problem is in North America, we don't get a lot of their stuff imported, but you get some. Uh, but you don't know. Also, a lot of people in North America don't know like what the best breweries are in France and whatnot. So I don't know if we're getting here as stuff that's like the equivalent of Sam Adams, or if it's stuff that's really good stuff but there are a lot of craft breweries and some of them do distribute here problem with that i have with imports and again this isn't this is a not personal problem but they're expensive like you go get a belgian beer i mean it's five six dollars for a 12 ounce spot yeah, it's, yeah it's tough. i can pay that Be- belgian beers i find are generally more like from my my palate i still not a big fan but as far as like being able to ship from over there they're yeah. bottle fermented more often than not they're gonna they're, they're able to age and stuff but like you get like i have in my fridge a bottle of i I bought two bottles because more often than not when i see a new beer i'll buy two bottles one so i can try it right away and then one for a review because i want to be able to try it more than once and i bought the one girl at the lcbo recommended it's called jaipur yeah and they actually paul had some dry hops cask version of the same beer on the uh manchester piss up yeah he did uh, he loved it and but the one i have it's probably it's, old it's yeah it's like a lot of that's a lot like, of the beers that, that's my thing with that like, that's what i was getting that a lot of the beers that from over there that make it over here aside from things like belgian bottle age ones that are meant to age they get over here and you'll see the best before date and it's like a month away or something and quite often those best before dates are not accurate you could say well yeah they're because because here's the thing here's the thing especially in ontario and, and i know listen i'm i don't know much i'm dumb i'm polish I'm an idiot. You say that all this. the time, but you're you're not though, man. You're actually no, I, very, I, very knowledgeable of this shit. Seriously. When it comes to Ontario, though, this is the thing I know about Ontario. When they get imported stuff, whether it's from the states, whether it's from overseas, any hop forward beer, right from the get go, you guys are fucked. Number one, it's coming from overseas or the states, so they have to import it through customs and stuff, and it takes a while. A lot of these places don't send super fresh, like right off the line, like one day old IPAs. And then the LCBO does a great job of, I don't know, seller aging it in their warehouse, which is in the yeah. cellar, the warehouse. And yeah. then what ha- Yeah. So you guys will end up like it was Stone Stone showed up with, for you guys. I think it was like uh, not this past fall, but last fall. And there was a lot of beers that showed up. Like I think Stone and um, what the fuck is the go to IPA showed up. There was Stone Go to. There was Stone Chocavesa. Chocavesa is fine. Like that can age. There were, there, I, I, I got it. There was a couple that I got for sure. Yeah, and Stone Go to is a session IPA. That fucking beer showed up four months old in LCBOs. But look, Craig I'm says not, morning. Craig says morning, guys. What's up, Craig? <laughs> hey man. 
Yeah, he is just getting up over there. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's Kent from Craig's peer reviews, right? <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, like along those lines, what you're saying, funny enough, the uh, Innocent Gun Session IPA that released not that long ago, it made it here, and it was actually really tasty and juicy and still Probably surprisingly fresh. hot. I was blown away. Like, Innocent Gun is... I say, like, whenever I review one of those beers, I'm I'm amazed at how many of their beers show up here. For them being, like, a brewery in Scotland, you know, and, like, to, for that, that many to make it to, like, my hometown, I, I want to say pretty much every beer they release into the LCBO shows up in one of the LCBOs here in North Bay. It's pretty that, cool. Yeah, that, that is cool. Um, To, to, to kind of, like, I guess uh... – a segue from from what you talk about is another Scott, another UK brewery, Brewdog, which I know uh, you know Rod's familiar with now because they're in Columbus. Pink IPA. Well, yeah, there's a there, there was a there's a lot of UK guys like Craig and Peter and stuff that asked me about like Brewdog, what I've had and whatnot. And I'm like, look, I've had like maybe like four or five different Brewdog beers, but they were imported from the UK, and like Punk IPA, I've had it. The shit was like four months old. I that's I guarantee that's not what they tended for it to taste like. They tend to taste that's for something. a good thing now because I got like a six pack of Elvis in the fridge. Yeah, fresh. Oh, yeah, I, I was not... shit's flesh because they brewed it right. So I don't know how, how good uh, it is, but I know that like I, when the brew box stuff shows up here from Columbus, the Columbus Brewery, I'm totally gonna revisit it because a, it's fresh, and I finally get a chance to try it. And b, oh, so they, they, I they, have, a, they have a they have a, they have a brewery in the states now. They have a brew pub, a brewery and a brew pub. Uh, oh, like really? Hours from the I want to yeah. say like, I've tried. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. <laughs> I've tried the Punk IPA a couple times, and it's been like it was before I was looking at the dates. So like I was like, I'll try it this one time. It's good. Try it again. Not really good, but I want to say at least one of the times I tried it, it was reasonably fresh. Like I'd say less than four months probably, but like yeah, yeah. I, I want to say like maybe there's. I, like for Canada and the UK, I think there's like the shipping restrictions are maybe a bit less than like Canada and then the UK and the state because we're like still a monarchy, whatever the fuck. We still have the queen and our money and shit like well, that. I know and all that kind of stuff. You guys get the import stuff like uh, Roche for 10. I, I, I don't know if you have Roche for 8 or Roche for 10. I had I one of those. It was, it was a it was a Trappist beer, wasn't it, or something like that? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, it's one of the most. It's like one of the best. Like eights, I, I believe, I like a, a Belgian strong and tens a quad. I know, I'm sure Rod's had it plenty of times he's, since he's he cut his teeth with the Belgian beers. But like Roche for <laughs> ten shows up here, and like I think in your neck of the woods is like four or four fifty a, a bottle Canadian. Here it's like six dollars. So like when I go up there, I can pay basically half the price, and it's well worth it. You guys get a lot of the imports are a lot less expensive than we get just because you're kick Canada and we're America and the taxes and the dumb shit. But, um, yeah, I, I don't, it's to use a term that a buddy of mine, Matt from massive beer reviews to say, uh, I'm not a date Nazi. Okay. I'm not a guy that, that <laughs> like, if, if an IPA is four months old, I'm going to kill somebody. But the way I look at it is if you're trying a beer for the first time ever, and it's a, hot Ford, it's a hot Ford beer. I think you owe you owe it to yourself and the brewery to try to tr try to try to drink it six weeks older, fresher. Feel that's fair. Yeah. When it goes over six weeks, then it's like, okay, look, they didn't intend for it to taste like this. It's a two, three month old. A lot of times, that's all you have the ability to grab is a three month old. Like, whatever. Mar Mar Marcel no, bitches at me all the time for being like the date Nazi guy, but it's like, hey, I, I've I've tried enough old like st particular styles of beer that have been like sitting around for too long and like try that. And Mar Marcel like, like Marcel like be like this IPA I bought like six months ago, mm, drink it and be like, I like it. And he's, but, but he, and at the same time, he, he, his palate's weird compared to mine. That's all I could really say. I don't know. Yeah. And one of those things, and I know Rod's mentioned it before about IPAs, like, yes, like back in the day, uh, you know, three, 400 years ago, IPAs were brewed to, you know, to hold up to the journey from going to the UK to India and vice versa and to India and vice versa and to other countries and whatnot. And that was because they didn't want them to go bad. They want it's a, it's a preservative hops are, and they wanted to be able to drink alcohol and not die from oh, it. Yeah. Not, yeah. not, not, not enjoy it. Nowadays, here we are in the 21st century, you're drinking IPAs for flavor. So when a, when a brewery releases an American IPA or New England style IPA or whatever, and they say, look, drink it fresh. They don't mean four yeah. months old. And I feel like, People who drink a beer that's four months old, they're like, oh, man, it's not that hoppy. Well, 
I'm pretty sure that brewery, when they put that out, they weren't like drink the shit four months old. They were drinking four days old or four weeks old. Drink it relatively 100%. fresh. 100%. And you can't always get them like that. It's unfortunate, but you can't. Just how it's like uh, well, Marcel and I actually collabed in the one that collab, but he came over and we went outside and sat out in the snow and fr- it was fucking cold that night. That we uh, the, the Highlander Brewing out of uh, South River, Ontario, they released their spring beer and it was an IPA that they had purposely aged mm. to be more like the old school. And yeah. I, it, it was a good beer, but in no way did I get any kind of IPA impression just because I'm so used to what, what, what's happening now, like the freshness kind of thing. And it was, it was, and they wanted 20 bucks a bottle, which I didn't feel was really justified. And randomly, uh, side chat. Yes. No. Well, well there you go. If, uh, if, if he's not, then that's okay. Well, I'd I, shout, I, out, I, shout I, out to Craig. Um, I would just want to say Craig, Craig, there's a couple of things. Uh, Jason Voorhees is still here. He said, night guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by Jace, uh, Jason. Jason. Oh, good stuff, man. Peace out, man. Um, Jamie says, I think I might buy all the Roche for it tomorrow. You fucking piece of shit. That's on you though, buddy. Uh, and then, and then Craig says, looking forward to the trade porn beers. Craig, you need to do less about worrying about stuff other than preparing your anus for battle with Paul showing up tomorrow. Okay, buddy. You're, you're, you're like, Paul, you just better make sure that like, you know, Paul doesn't get a to on tap. I guess it's place tomorrow. Lord Chesterfield on tap. Uh, you and Gangling? Yeah, but it's the one I wanted to try for them for a while. You've never had Lord Chesterfield? I it's okay. Well, one of the places I have, you asked about all places. The one place I didn't mention is Jungle Gems was one of the five places in America to buy beer. Oh yeah, really? They, they have loaded over four thousand beers on the roof. Nice. Yeah. Places like that are fun. They really are. Um, there's a place called World of Beers in that Rochester area where, where I went to Costco and that other place. And they're they're the same thing. They have a lot of beers. They're more expensive than that other place, AJ's that I go to, but they have like their import section is sick. And you can yeah, buy nobody, individual bottles of everything. I was, like, you, light, I was gonna say, no, nobody said no to the side chat thing, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and do it anyway. Oh, you guys. You know, I think, I think – we'll, we'll see what happens. It's yeah, okay. Rod and I have like all the yeah. time. But I, 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 I figured, you know, it's, it's – yeah. Baby, it's, he's, on, it's, baby, he's it's on the road, baby. He's on the road, baby. Yeah, he's on the road. I don't even know if he's there. Well, we'll see. But just, just to point it out, Craig, if you want to hop in, you can, but I'm pretty sure you're uh, – Invite sent, buddy. You're welcome to pop in if you want to. You're, you're probably in preparation for T minus Paul. <laughs> he said, I'm leaving for Manchester. That's on me. It is on you, buddy. Ah, fair enough. There we go. Fair enough. Well, if you're leaving soon, then you know you can pop in for a minute if you want to. Come on, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was so actually P- Peter. So, so, uh, Peter uh, put on the uh, that, that picture he shared on Facebook like, with Paul. I guess it was like as Paul was leaving him for the first time. And like, just saying, like, Paul is genuinely one of the best people he's, like, ever met kind of thing. Like, that that made me pretty happy, man, because I have always – Paul's a fucking weird guy with a weird, crazy, just d- dirty sense of humor. But he's, like, he's a father. He seems to be, like, a really good father. Yeah, and he, just, like, he just seems like a fucking awesome guy, man. I I've hung out with Paul at his house for an entire weekend. Like, I – Paul, like I always say, I always say, no matter what Paul does, except, I mean, if you kill someone, but uh, I mean, he has <laughs> bodies as baby. Yeah. No, <laughs> Paul is a really good guy. He really is. He's a good dude. When you hang out with him, you have a great time. He is a good dude, no doubt. Um, sometimes when he gets on these chats and gets hammered, uh, you can say some stuff. But I mean, that goes for a lot of people. But uh, uh, Paul is just, he's, he's a really good guy. Um, when, especially like when you hang out with him, it's, 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 you, you understand quite a bit like i and another guy like that is uh you uh you were to troll here on youtube and fucks around and stuff but you were in real life fucking fantastic individual very caring giving he's a great guy get on here and he trolls everybody um it's the internet people act like douchebags right you're a piece of shit but uh, it, uh in real life you were to good dude um just how it goes. Like you you could pop in right now I accidentally Share the link in the viewer analysis one on one chat. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Chat. Okay, so there's <laughs> so one thing. Here, the link to everybody. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Joe's the, the only one that Joe's the only one that saw it so far, so it's okay. Well, that's <laughs> because you were fucking eighty three years old and probably in bed after you drank his prune juice. It's done. Uh too funny. Yeah, no. I'm dude, I'm surprised it's fucking one AM and we still have five viewers. <laughs> like people are still watching. What's going on there? Well, well now they're about three and then they came back up. So yeah, no, but people J- are popping. Jamie in, just huh? said where's well, nobody send Jamie an actual invite because we all thought we, we all thought like, like, 
that he is, creeps in the corner. Right, Rod? Yeah, that, 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 that's what he'd probably do if he popped in. He'd just sit in the corner. What are you saying, Rod? Jace is down in California, so for him, he's three hours behind us. So. Oh, is, yeah, that's right, because he mentioned that earlier, because I didn't know where Jason for he was yeah. from. And then he said he was going to bed, which means it's like 10 p.m. He's going to bed. Jesus. Are you working tomorrow? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, baby, Good but morning. it doesn't matter, baby. It's a Friday, baby. What are we doing? <laughs> I haven't been on a beer flow show for like five weeks. I'm fucking, I'm good for a little bit. Yeah, crazy. I'm going to beer, though, because I can't, I'm like, I'm not done. Generally done with the beer, because I've, I'm done. I don't want to drink anymore. Um, <laughs> I've actually got more beer in the house than I actually want right now, but. Dude, so do I. Like, you talk about sellers, man. Uh, so one of my, one of my segments on my uh, channel is going to be Seller Reserve Sunday, where I pick three beers out and have the viewers, uh, choose what beer I review the following week. I'm doing that solely for the purposes purpose of getting rid of beers because like I'm not going to drink these beers if I don't do it that way. Like I'm not going to just randomly pick them out of my side and be like, oh, I want to drink this today. No. Um, I got freaking Mac that like, dropped 9,000 there. It's like, why? That is on you. That's no one else but you, Rod. So I, I noticed that in your, uh, your cellar. It was, it was a like, good deal. It was a good deal. I you, dra- you, drank, you drank that in like at least three of the live chats I've been in with you, I think. A big bottle well, of that. Like and you've still got a couple in your cellar. I was like, dude. Yeah. I bought like yeah. a what are the, the, you know that are small. Like the you small like that. Beer, beer, right? they have? They're, they're 5 dollars I mean, you know. Listen, I'm just, deal. I'm just gonna say this. If I was Rod, okay, if I was Rod, if I was in Rod's shoes, I got the you gotta hate yourself because it's tough. Really. It's Listen, like, no, it's tough being in Rod's shoes for multiple reasons, but I'm just saying from a uh, beer perspective, okay? From a beer perspective, if I'm in Rod's shoes, I'm buying all the beers. <laughs> all right, because the man gets crazy deals. I probably have bought six thousand beers in my cellar. I probably have a lot of issues with my wife. I'd probably lose my job. I'd probably just go broke because I'd be like, "Oh, that beer's two dollars. It's normally six. I'm buying eighty of them." I would have a lot of issues. Well, see, here's the thing. Now I get to, I'll get some of these cases for twelve ninety nine. I don't need a case of beer, so I got a backer in my office. Anytime you get beer, he just cuts it in half with me. So that's true. Sure, that's 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 at least a good way to go about it. Also, like I get a twelve pack for like six dollars, and it's like, yeah, yeah, it's no, crazy. Like, twelve pack for oh my god, my brain hurts. <laughs> uh, uh, Craig says, "Cheers for the invite," but yeah, heading off to the London yeah, Underground soon. And then and then Jamie says, "Oh Jesus, Joe lying about his channel again." Here's the thing, Jamie. I start my channel, bro. You're gonna be on a dual beer review. You're gonna you're gonna make sure you soundproof that room, or maybe your your children are with the wife or whatever. But you're gonna do a dual beer review with me. I'm gonna make you do one because the world does not have enough Jamie in it. All right. Oh my God. Oh. Why is Greg here? This is why you don't send the info. I told you. Greg. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've finally done it. I finally infiltrated Rod's chat. Oh my God. Uh, I'm gonna go offline if he's coming on. <laughs> yeah. Greg, Greg, we're gonna need you to uh, channel your phone. inner beer analysis 101 for the rest of this chat until we go offline, if that's a possibility. <laughs> Nothing Fuck but no. professionalism. God What's damn, going on, Greg? <laughs> uh, not much. I'm actually going to bed in a few minutes. I just thought I'd pop in and just be able to see. Yeah, I popped Rod's chair. Drink anything tonight? <laughs> or he popped mine. I don't. I don't know. How Is this the works. first time you've been on one of the chats? This first time I've been on, first time I've been invited up until now. I thought you had better common sense than that, but now that was you, that was actually my wrong. mistake. I didn't mean to. Yeah, do that. but you you tr- you trusted Redbeard with that kind of information. Well, so no, yeah, Redbeard all, just starts all, all start sending out invites everywhere. He's no, like, it was it analysis. was supposed to be. It was supposed to just be to uh, Craig, but I actually I, I was looking at my messages, and I guess the one hundred and one and Craig were the last like two I messaged, and I clicked. The wrong one and just hit paste, like control V and enter without <laughs> double checking. All my bad. I'm sorry. But this is why we keep, Redbeard, we keep Redbeard a probation status because of this. I'm sorry, so, Rod. I'm sorry, man. I love you. So, I love you. So this is like the this is like the real life version of uh, the first American Pie movie with that very famous scene where they, you know, somehow post the video to everyone in the school. Right. Yeah. They, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I sent an invite to Jamie because he said Greg got an invite, not me. Done going to bed. Well, the invite's been. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not you're joking around, it's been set. There's nothing we can do here. It's been set. Is he not in the 101 chat? Uh, he might have left at some point. Oh. I, I'm not sure. I know, I know Rod left it. Uh, I know I, I, I think people, people have people. like Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For good reason. But yeah. Um, hey, well, the, the first, actually, when, when that first became a thing, 
the first couple days I was like getting to the point where I was like, are you serious? Cause the, my phone was just like dinging every like couple. Cause the, there was just a giant chat going on and on. And yeah, I, on. Tried, I, I basically on my phone, I have Facebook notifications wow. muted. Like I, I get them, but I don't hear them. For good. Yeah, that's what, like, what are you like, drinking? What are you drinking tonight, Greg? We didn't ask like, you. It looks how, like how diarrhea water. It does. It looks, Oh, that's a fucking good beer though. What is that? Yeah. I'm enjoying it, but it's not as good as some other ones I've had. Oh, you got an oh, Interesting. Yeah, he went to. He has. He has. Uh, he has uh, family in uh, Mi- uh, Michigan, so nice. Detroit. So he that was just randomly on the shelf. I'm like, really? That's- I'll upload my. Oh, yeah. M- I'll upload my M43 review this weekend. Well, actually, I mean, the M43 I found one one four pack at Myers, but then I actually went to the proper actual uh, liquor store, and they had. Oh, there must have been a few what hundred. What place cans you go to? Uh, I went to Napa Valley. Oh, did you? Yeah, the, the, I, I didn't tell you about Napa Valley, Greg. Where was Napa Valley? Who told you about Napa Valley? I don't know. I think maybe my sister-in-law told no, me. No, was something. it this guy with the terrible fucking hat? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's a good story. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't realize that brewery was in trouble, but that beer saved them. They said, "Yeah." No, I'd never heard of an old nation before that beer in Boston ever in my life. <laughs> well, have, you guys, <laughs> have you guys tried? Uh, have you guys tried Juice Bigelow? No, we uh, no. I know, I know. Eric gets Rochester Mills stuff clearly because he's in Michigan, and he, he I, I'll be honest with you, I was kind of jealous this year, this past year for the uh, like twelve. You know how a lot of places do the uh, what's the fucking uh, the Advent calendars? He did a Rochester Mills one where it was like the milkshake style, but like twelve different variations of it. Um, really? But, yeah, yeah. So they, there's all kind of different milkshake styles, but I've never seen him review, and I don't see I've seen a review on beer uh, beer tube at all. So no. Interesting. Yeah, you, you know what? It's I actually think it's superior to this. In fact, it's probably t- tied up there for one of my favorite New England IPs. Now, granted, it's not a style I have a shit ton of experience with, but um, but yeah, that one's really good. It's up there to me with like IPA number five. Like it's it's good. Yeah, IPA number five is garbage. Sorry, Chris, it's garbage. Like like for for me, like the one that I said it in my uh, review of the beer that will not be named on show that will not be mentioned. Um, it's at least equal to that one, maybe even a bit more. Of the, juicy, like, yes, just juicy. Juicy. No, mine was uh, Peel Out by Redline. I had it at a oh. beer festival. Redline has some good stuff. I've had some good stuff. It was, it was like they uh, their keg blew or something, so they had to like pour everything they had into a big pitcher, and it was like the only way they were able to serve it. But it was still like it looked all fucking weird. The head was all fucking funny looking stuff. But they poured it, me the sample, and it was – it was delicious stuff, man. It was and and the red line girls. No, we some know of the, some some no. of the best ladies in the yes, industry. Yes, yes we know that same thing at Chats Fest. The red line women are oh. fantastic. Um, I, 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 and, I, and I was I was trying to get Chris Lizak laid, and he just wouldn't well, go for it. Well, you can't lie I mean, about. I was, I was advertising his fourteen inch penis, yet it wasn't enough for them. <laughs> Because it's not real. Um, the, uh, <laughs> it, does, it doesn't matter. By the time he gets to the point where he shows it to them, they're just like, you know what? Just stick it in me. Just stick and it this in. is Greg. Um, Juicy ass from Flying Monkeys. They, uh, I know they're in uh, Ohio, and I've I, on the Beer Coalition, the group. I've seen like a half dozen people post. I'm like, look, I it's, I enjoy the beer, but like, slow down. Just it's it ju- Juicy ass is actually pretty just, damn tasty, just but bring it, just bring it back. From what like I from what I've tried. And like, what well, well, from what you can what you can do with an IPA, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's not as juicy as it could be. Like, if you say it's juicy ass, it could be juicier. Well, it's not a New England style. It's still a no. Yeah, it's it's not. like an East style. Oh, it's it's, style. It's, 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 straight, it's clear, clear, clear. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't. If, it you, doesn't, get it, if, you, get fresh, baby. if you get it fresh, it is. It is a nice, decent. Like, it's one of my. Like when I go to the LCBO, I'll check the date if it's within a month, month and a half ish. I'll pick up a couple cans. It's one of those like one of my go to, I guess I'd say that. Hey. And uh, what's the uh, right now? Lake Effect by Great Lakes Brewing or two yeah, of my Lake like, Effects, Lake Effect, my Lake I Effects. Go to Greg, Greg gave me one randomly, like whenever we exchange beers, like a couple yeah, of years I, ago. I think I just wanted you to try it, so I was like, here, I'll just yeah. And I was like, God, it. this might be the best beer you gave me. The bunch of like, this is stupid. I, I know it's a pretty, 
it's pretty solid. I mean, there's always a little bit of batch oh. variation here and there. I kind of don't think it's as good as it used to be, but it's still a pretty I, awesome beer. All their beers are great. Though. I did want to ask. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I just want to ask Rod one thing quickly. You say you you've seen Nickel Brooks Kentucky Bastard. Have you ever seen Flying Monkeys Chocolate Manifesto? Oh, I don't know if it was Kentucky Bastard. I just saw someone at Nickel Brook. Oh, but. have you ever seen Flying Monkeys Chocolate? Fat? I I know Ohio gets Flying Monkeys clearly because I think it's Donna who drinks Juicy Ass all the time. You ever see Chocolate Manifesto? Get it. Because or, or Aurora Heart, Aurora Do Heart. Do not part. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're a fan. <clears throat> I wasn't a huge fan. It's but a it's raspberry awesome. chocolate stone. It's actually yeah, really it's tasty. Fuck, you know, it's nice. fucking fake. It's fake. But let's people like it. Well, that like, that makes me sad. Like, I didn't realize that. Well, it tastes I like Viva, P- Viva Puffs, which if you like gonna, Viva Puffs, then I haven't had a Viva Puff in. I was never a I've fan. I've never of had one. I've never they're, had. They're one. weird and marshmallowy and just anyway. Greg, I was gonna, are you going to uh, the Albino's Beer Festival this year? Of course, I'm always there. So except are, the first year, you, which I wasn't there. Except that. So are, are you going, going to uh, the, the you go to the bottle share thingy as well? Of course, that's. I'd cool. go there before I went to the fest. No offense, Chad. Well, then I I look forward to meeting them. I'm I'm I'm. I'm I, I just sent an email basically saying like I must have this day off, and that's that. As, as the only well, me making sure I have money and my car is in working condition to drive five and a half hours south are the two kind of things that are the only things that are like up in the air as far as me being able to go. But I'm yeah, very much hoping make, to get down there and meet you. Make sure, make sure you have money because that's more important than getting drunk with your friends. Well, I got like, one caveat, and that like, is if like, like, don't not, if Redbeard's yeah. there, I'm not showing up. If he's not, I'm there. That's how that works. Thanks, Joe. Thanks a bunch, buddy. I love I you, was, man. I was, I was thinking of pulling that joke out, too. but that I'm going to say I'm not going to – you know what? I, I'm not going to show up, and then I'll secretly show up. And uh, God damn it. Hide behind yes, a curtain, sir. and you walk by. I'm going to jump out and kiss you right in the yes, fucking way. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, like Hugs all around. We're going to get our beards, like, all tangled up. It'll be like the on the, the space balls where they got their Schwartz twisted, you know? Now, Redbeard, yeah. here's the rule of the bottle share. I don't know if anyone told you, but basically – you got to bring some whales, like really, really rare shit, as rare as you can get, you know. And then what we're gonna do is, before we try them, we're gonna mix them with Niagara Brewery beers, either the cream ale or the black ale, because we don't want to try. We don't. We're not the kind of beer share where we want to try the beer in its. No, not, not, not the, pe- the, the peach. The peach rattler from them, you know. So yeah, I bring, we, like, we we, we want to try. Well, Someone's girlfriend got mad at me because I didn't bring pe- I I didn't. Well, I guess we were there, and I was like posting pictures and stuff while we were there, and she like. Commented on one of them, being like, "Bring me Peach Rattler," and I didn't see it oh, until we like, left. Oh, yeah, and she was like, "It's one of her favorite beers," which makes me lose. So, like, so why well, she lost a couple points and a couple awesome points. So what I don't care if it's International Women's so, Day; she still murder her. So, so what Greg did? <laughs> this is just to show you how how Greg is. This is like this is Greg in a nutshell. He has one fucking job. He's going to a bottle share. The night before the Albino Rhino Beer Festival. So I heard happens? this story. It's awesome. Yeah, I get a fucking text a little like an hour, hour and a half before the chair, and he's like, I forgot the beer. <laughs> you have one fucking job. How do you forget that you're going to a bottle share? How do you uh stop and pick up some beer? So well, I, Agnes was even like, Do you want to turn around? I'm like, No, we're fucking no, in the middle we'll of rush find hour. Some beer. Yeah, yeah. So, actually, so like, we're an hour away from there. Toronto. So, so no. no, I'm just you know, there's a bunch of breweries in the Niagara <laughs> region. So where does he go? The worst fucking brewery possible. <laughs> he brings four growlers of absolute 100% pure shit. It is like... No, no. Some of them you said were okay, Joe. Let's be no, fair. No, but you I mean okay. okay. They're like two seven fives out of fives. They're tolerable. He brings them. He brings 64 ounce growlers. Because, you know, why Why not bring 64 <laughs> instead of 32? Brings them. I thought I thought well, thirty-two is not called the growler. It's a squeaker or a boss. It's I thought I brought, I thought it, brought it, half growlers. Yeah, you know, it's half growlers. It's uh, whatever demi growlers, whatever. You know, you brought sixty-four ounces of this garbage. You brought six ounces. So. Check, fuck, check out the yo, videos. I think they were yo, half growlers. You joke. fucking, you shut your whore mouth. You brought all the gross <laughs> beer, and then we're drinking fantastic beer. Like we're drinking like. <laughs> Bourbon barrel aged 1050 from Oscar Blues and uh, Firestone Walker Sticky Monkey, which is a barrel aged quad. All this great stuff, and this man is making <laughs> cuvées out of <laughs> out of Niagara Brewing Company's cream ale with like bourbon barrel aged 1050, and he's drinking these. I just I wanted to choke him. I, I'm not a violent person, but I I wanted to choke him, and he thought it was hilarious. And I'm like I. 
I just don't want to be here anymore. So, Joe, Joe listen, craft beer is all about drinking stuff. It's it's a popularity contest. You are drinking stuff that no oh, one else gets to drink. Yo, that is so how bad. cool you are, Joe. It was you so are I did, unique. Okay, so, so randomly, you guys have been to this bottle share thing. Like, like what? Like, what should? What, like, what should Some I bring? Beer. Just bring beer that you think that we can't get down there. That's all. Redbeard, if you can possibly get some New Belgium. Twin Pine. Twin Pine <laughs> Do IPA. not bring New Belgium. Do not listen to Rod. No if New I Belgium. Actually, Twin Pines was just <laughs> like yesterday. I know. So if I go down, if I went down there now, I can get some and then like save it. Well, but, if you're able, I mean, uh, okay, yeah, it'll be a few yeah. months old, but I'd still try it even if it's a few yeah. months old. I will personally have Joe suck your dick if you do that. Nah, it's pretty, it's pretty good stuff. It, it is, it is actually a really, really tasty double IPA. I can't deny it. Um, you just bring stuff that's local or stuff that you don't think we can get. That's the kind of how bottle shares. It doesn't have to be super rare stuff. Just stuff. And like how many of the? Uh, how many of? How well, many if there's like going to be a half dozen to eight of us. Like you don't bring like fucking twenty bottles. You know, like three or four, not much. Yeah, it's, like honestly, yeah, no matter. No, like, I'm trying to bring like a six pack of every beer I bring. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking like I can bring at least like probably three from New Ontario that you guys will not have had. I can bring the uh, Frisky Pete's English Pale Ale, their uh, Tree Top or Red Ale, and their Session IPA, which. <laughs> And then maybe something. It's all good. J- just keep just but, keep yeah. in mind, no matter wh- how much you bring, like no matter how much beer we have or how many people we have, there's always beer left over because we uh, never always. get to all of it. Dude, I, I, I last year I was like, I'll bring six or seven because I'm like I always bring fucking like a case and stupid. And it's still like three, four were left over because Nick's like I brought fucking this place from. Uh, uh, what, Nick, fuck, Nick, Nick brought like fucking like fifteen somewhere. beers last year. Yeah, I don't know he, where I'm gonna. I guess I, Chris was like, "Yeah, you're invited, but you can't stay at my house," kind of thing, because he's he's already full up, I guess. So I'm not. Uh, like, I may, may, maybe well, I'll be able to stay at place. Bedroom, think, well, he so. has a yeah, he has a he has a one bedroom apartment, and Nick's staying there, so that quickly becomes like an eight bedroom apartment. <laughs> um, yeah, he, I, but we're doing the bottle share in, in, in the basement of Chris's uh, yeah, apartment. No, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Out, so he doesn't have to be like you know, it's no one's in his apartment which is probably maybe, maybe 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 i'll just like be all sneaky and like hide in the corner or whatever no one else leaves and i'll sleep i'll sleep in that basement room yeah, yeah you do whatever you gotta do to fuck with uh chris uh jimmy jazz says greg you can order twin pines online buddy well there you oh, go you can hello jimmy jazz oh, that's awesome. showing up late but... i would recommend that then for sure actually well the sauna does have their i think yeah, you have to buy jazz i think you have to buy at least six of them which is I, I, I that that that, that, that one I, that one's okay, but usually it's that that's that's a stupid thing. I think when if you haven't had the beer, like I said I, before, I wouldn't want to uh, buy a six pack. I will say this. I will say this from the LCBO and just like uh, and and I guess we can buy stuff online in the states. And I, I mean, I there's bottle shops I can buy, but it seems like there are a lot now in Ontario where like a lot of breweries are doing the online, like, you know, yeah, because it, it only recently became legal, like within the last yeah. year or two. It's yeah. cool, though. It, I wish more places would do it. Cause like if there were harder to get breweries that I can't get, like, you know, downstate you know, New York city, downstate New York, or even other, other places, like I would totally throw in. It, it's cool. But at the same time, like if, if I was going to buy like a bunch of beers by say collective arts, and a couple that ones in Toronto. If I was to like get everything that I wanted from them, and get it all shipped to me, the shipping cost mm-hmm. would probably almost, if not equal, I thought it was only like the twenty ga- bucks. The gas money of me like driving down and going to these breweries and yeah. driving back home. If I was buying for more than one kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Shipping, shipping is kind of pricey on some. Well, it's like beer mails. Like I mean, sending beer mails. It's heavy. It's heavy. I understand. I I like the breweries that give you free shipping if you spend enough money. Because I don't mind spending a hundred bucks. That's 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 the way. Like yeah, if uh, not a lot do though, not a lot do at all. And it's Uh, Jimmy Jazzle says it's twenty dollars a four pack for the Twin Pines. If it's a four pack, I I want to say they changed that. I think they were selling six packs. Oh, yeah, That's all right. Well, cool thanks for the info. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely order that. Still can't make your own six, but make your own four pack. But four is better than six. I oh, that's that. okay. I'll, ha- I'll happily take four of them because I, and if it's anything he, like the, their Lone Pine is probably one of my favorite IPAs of all time. So then there is twice yeah, as good. Then yeah, 
It's a damn tasty double IPA, man. It really is. I think uh, I think I'm Chris and myself, and I don't know if Chad is because he doesn't have a passport, and I don't know how long it takes to get a passport, but I'd imagine it's probably longer than a couple weeks. But uh, there's a Canadian American Beer Festival happening in downtown Niagara Falls where 20 breweries from Western New York went to Southern Ontario and brewed. I heard about that. So there's going to be 40 beers there, 20 that were brewed at uh, 20 Canadian breweries, 20 that were brewed at the West York breweries. They're doing a beer fest in downtown Niagara Falls uh, April 7th. Uh, I'm hoping to go to it. Hopefully Chris shows up, and hopefully I'll get footage for my channel that doesn't exist yet, but will by then. And um, it should be a good time, but I've that, that's just one of the coolest things ever, right? Like 20 breweries from one side of the border goes to the other and vice versa. Yeah, and man. That, that is really beers. Cool. Pretty cool. I guess Chad helps set it up, but he's like, uh, uh so and so said they pay for my passport i'm like well what the fuck like yes you do that and then you go into the fucking fest it's it's like i think i paid 50 bucks at the most for mine so i'm like uh, 35 dollars america uh, again like i said like like i i live far enough away that it's not like i don't have i'm not a big travel like i don't want to go i don't need to go to the dominican fucking blah 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 I wouldn't mind being uh, Paul right now and going over to Europe. But, it's a good time. But the, uh, <laughs> yeah, like if, I, if, I li- if I lived on the border, basically, like Chad and Chris do, you're damn right I'd have a fucking passport, man. Yeah. I'd be down in the States all the damn – well, not all the time, but often enough to be – We have a ginger limit, Red, so oh. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty strict limit too. You're in the watch list, right? I don't know. Yeah, you're in the watch list. Like they, if, you're, <laughs> if your beer gets any longer, you go on a different list. <laughs> if I braid it, it kind of shortens up a little bit. If you braid it, you're never allowed in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just the reverse ponytail, and that's never good. Yeah, right the right. They're like, is there a ponytail on your face? Yeah, you're not allowed. In. I don't care how much money you're giving our economy, you're done. You can put it in a bun. I can put it. I can put a beer, a beer, a beer bun. That'd be cool. Jamie I says, gonna, I think I'm going to take it offline. It's like, all right, let me read these last two comments. I just, Jamie said that he thinks the 10th is about 20, 30 minutes from where Ronald lives, which is cool. Jimmy Jazz says the fest sounds really cool. Interesting to see what kind of beers they come up with. Yeah, for sure. But it seems like you guys always have some good beers there. Chad's Fest is a lot of fun. Like they do bring nice beers, and Chad's Fest is one of those like grassroots fests that he does himself. So it's never overcrowded. Uh, you, you very personable. A lot, a lot of owners from the breweries come. Not there's just not reps that come. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of one on one with actually head brewers and owners and stuff. So uh, you and again, it's one of the fest. I like listen. I've been to a lot of fest. Most fests are three to four hours. This thing's twelve to seven. It's seven hours long. Nice. Yeah. It's a long fest. So you can just shit there, sit there and chit chat with people, and no no one gets upset because there's fucking seven hours to do whatever. <laughs> Any closing words from anybody? <laughs> That's not, not even that long a festival. <laughs> I gotta watch it. Great sense. My closing words would be: Thank you, Rod, for hosting the Beer Flow show on this on your channel. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, Appreciate you inviting thank, us. Thank, thanks yeah. for having me, and uh, th- thanks for not, you know, being all uh, against me and accidentally inviting Greg. <laughs> and shout out to all the viewers because yeah, he's they're, he's they're kind of a yeah. dick. <laughs> but not, but not nearly as big of a dick as Chris Lezak's fourteen-inch penis. <laughs> See, that's why Greg can't have the last word. No, so. <laughs> never, never a good idea. Still not as big as uh, next. Everybody that was in Jimmy Jazz got in kind of late here, but him and Jamie base mm-hmm. up here. Yep. Chris going to tenth. Although Chris didn't get in because he said he was going to go to bed, but I don't think he ever did. Oh. He yeah, just kept yeah. chiming in for longest time. What a lot of picture of Joe. That's what everyone wants. Well, if you guys want an autographed picture of mine, I totally am not going to provide one because I can't. Jason Voorhees, of course, and everybody else. So thanks for everybody watching. Yeah, Voorhees. Angel of Mercy. Yeah. Angel of Mercy got kind of quiet after she came in earlier. Yeah. Voorhees came back. Jason is like, he was in the Beer Flow show, and then he showed up halfway through this. He was like, hey, what's up, boys? I'm like, what the? <laughs> so he went to mine. Yeah. Cheers to think? everybody watching. Cheers yeah. to all of you guys. Damn right. Catch you guys next time. Uh, woo.